All right. All the messages have went out. How's everybody doing today? Give me just a second. Let me pull up the stream. Do, 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 do. And boss page, what's going on, man? Queen, how are you? Uh, what are you asking, Queen? More tyranny or broken rolls? It'll be tonight. It's going to be broken rolls for today. And then uh, we'll be going straight back to tyranny for sure. For sure. Hope everybody's doing well. Oops. Go ahead and turn on my camera. See, we even still got the tyranny background up. But yeah, I uh, definitely, definitely plan to uh, finish up that tyranny playthrough. But I've heard a lot about Broken Road, so I definitely want to play it. Um, hold on one second. Let me make sure that it comes up correctly. Do, do, do. Switch from tyranny to Broken Road. Does this look right? And... Looks like it's going to be look okay. If it doesn't turn out to look okay, you all will let me know, I'm sure. Darmo, what's up? Darren, what's going on? So, yeah, I've seen some information about this game. Seems like the morality system is really, really interesting. We did a poll on the channel, and you all definitely made it clear you want me to go the Machiavellian route. I am happy to do so. Uh, so, what I've heard from the reviews is... A narrative focus, some really interesting dialogue and situations it places you in. However, the, the combat seems kind of iffy, and I've heard it's very short, so we might only need to play a couple of streams they in order to get through it. the world it, so. would end the war. That much was passed down. Everything else has been lost. When the bombs dropped, 80% of Australia's population was wiped out just like that. Those who weren't immediately vaporized carried the radiation inland, poisoning all the pretty places they crawled to. The desert swallowed the rest. Mm. Despite it all, we survived. We rebuilt. We even formed strong enough allegiances to have wars of our own. But these wars were of disease, of hunger, of people who'd forgotten the sacrifices that have always been made beyond the steady glows of the cities that now choked with dust. Our great-grandparents made it. We will too. All it takes to thrive in this new world is guts, grit, and hard yakka. <laughs> That's where you come in. When men speak ill of thee. Oh, couldn't read it. Interesting. All right. So we kind of already knew that, right? This is a, a story about uh, a, a version of Australia that has been essentially wiped out with radiation. So we'll see what uh, distinguishes this game from Fallout and similar games. Elric, what's going on, man? I didn't pick this up. I instead decided to pick up Wrath of the Righteous, which, in my opinion, was the better one to get. Yeah, I heard this is only like uh, 7 to 10 hours, so you'll probably get more... Uh, Playtime and more bang for your buck out of Wrath of Rights, especially since it's probably cheaper than this game was. All right, so you get to choose from a few origins. Oh, I decided to go back to ME2 for another playthrough so I can romance Jack. Oh, I can change class. I import my save to ME3. Yes, yes, you most certainly can. All right, so you grew up with a gun in your hand. If you want to eat, you shot what your parents told you to shoot. Starvation is a powerful motivator. It was that simple. They hired you out when you were in your teens, telling clients that a hungry kid shoots better. Hmm. After a few years, you work your, up your courage to run away, and you cross the outback to make a new life for yourself. You even earned a bit of a reputation. That's why you weren't surprised when they offered you the possibility of a long-term gig with the scouts at Volleyball Hall. It's a mad world out there. Instead of trying to make sense of it, you carved your place in it. You'll be damned if anyone thinks you'll just quit. So attribute bonuses, you get awareness which gives you more perception and insight, affects range, damage, accuracy, critical hit, chance, dodge, and helps avoid ambushes. So it seems mostly about combat. And then strength, power, and energy affects melee damage, health points, movement points, and intimidation checks. Okay, so it does help a little bit with conversations. And then you get a plus 10 to shooting opportunists. Help yourself to a free swipe at enemies during a runner. Chance to make an attack on enemies moving out of melee range. Okay, so opportunity starts with a... 50% penalty accuracy and every point you add gives 1% accuracy. So 50 opportunists results in 0% penalty.
penalty advantage. Huh. All right. That's an interesting go, but we're going to be focused on conversations, so I'm going to say no. Uh, most likely 100% Dragon Age Inquisition. Nice. Like I did before as a human warrior, but I'll do as a Dalish elf mage. Yeah, the Dalish playthrough is pretty interesting. Boss fade. Let me summon my Aussie friends to watch this. <laughs> Wait, they are asleep. <laughs> They'll have to catch the replay. The wide open places call to you. They always have. You spend nights under the stars as a child. Your parents teaching you about constellations, the planets, the animals. The first time you learned how to use a compass, you were hooked. You took off from home young to explore the trackless waste. It was only a happy accident that you discovered you could make some serious coin by telling people what you found. You loved the thrill of discovering places that fell off the maps or finding the towns that had sprung up since the fall. It's almost as good as getting paid when you tell some new client what you found. The world is a treasure waiting to be found. You're just a map maker to reveal its secrets. Intelligence affects action points, initiative, intimidation checks. Okay, so strength and intelligence count for intimidation and resistance to certain status conditions. That's interesting. Vigilance. Keep your finger on the trigger and your eyes down your sights. Prepare and attack and fire on the first enemy who moves within range. What's punked? Take a chance at a challenge beyond your usual capabilities. In combat, spend punk points to increase accuracy of attacks. Out of combat, spend punk points to attempt to pass a skill check that is just out of reach. Higher ranks increase the amount and effectiveness of punk points. Each point spent in punk increases the character's critical hit chance by 0.2%. This sounds interesting. Let's circle back. Barter crew. You spent your earliest years riding the back of a barter crew's wagon, traveling all across Western Australia from Bodington to Bonnie Rock. You've seen thousands of deals go down. You learned to haggle with the best of them when you were knee high to a coca. And by the time you were a teen, you decided that maybe it was time to make your own way. You've got a head for numbers and eye for trade and a tongue keen for speech. Nothing makes you happier than driving a hard bargain. It's been a hell of a ride. You get your way. You'll hunt down every opportunity in Australia. Uh, charm and appeal affects the number of pump points and persuasion checks. Resolve, endurance and toughness affects health points, damage reduction, and resistance to certain status effects. Leadership, set an example for those around you. Hmm, wonder if that, what's that about? Biology, you know what makes people tick physically. Use restorative items from utility slots to heal and revive allies. Hmm, that's interesting. Want to join Threads D&D group, but don't know what's required. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Threads D&D group? I got the jacket in me three. I was super hyped seeing it. I was like, I really want <laughs> um, Jack's romance doesn't transfer. You can't, she can't really be your, I mean, she can kind of be your final romance, but she does, she gets less content than all the other romance options you could uh, pick, except for Jacob. Can't wait for next Dragon Age. I'm right there with you, boss page. As, as upset as Bioware has made me, I still love Dragon Age. It just is what it is. Wait, this game's more expensive, but less playtime than Wrath of the Righteous, a game that allows you to play thousands of hours. But yeah, come on now. But, uh, Wrath of the Righteous came out like two, three years ago, so uh, that makes sense. You are lost pumped. Your parents ditched you at a remote station when you were an infant. The manager brought you in. The station hands took you took to you and you became a kind of mascot to them you grew up with tools that could fix most simple machines you learned how to read an animal care for its injuries and put it to work they taught you to hunt giving you the skills to survive just about anywhere you were hunting in the bush when the raiders came first sign you had was the pillar of smoke by the time you got back everyone you knew was dead you've been on the go since looking for a new place to settle down you thought you might have found it in bookton maybe you could set out your days there uh we're gonna go with barter crew uh, I, to the best of my ability, I want to play like an evil politician type of person. So, see how it goes. All right, appearance. All right, now this is the other thing I heard. You can't really choose how you look, right? So, you just got to go with these set options. All right, it is what it is. Standard. And morality. The morale compass shows a 360-degree view of possible dialogue options, attitudes you can hold, and decisions that you can make through your, out your journey. It's divided into four parts, utilitarian, nihilist, Machiavellian, and humanist, with the golden arc representing your worldview, often overlapping different quadrants. Where a decision lies is not always clear-cut, and the borders matter. 
It's entirely possible to be a utilitarian focused on the greater good for all, which will suit options in that quadrant close to the humanist border. Likewise, you could be within a utilitarian quadrant, but tending far more to focus on the interests of your own group with decisions tending towards the Machiavellian border. Broken roles doesn't reduce things to simple right and wrong or good and evil, and this is reflected in how you can handle the scenarios you face on your journey. The golden arc on the center represents your worldview. Each decision you can affect your position on the compass, rotating the worldview slightly towards the decision you have made. At the center of the compass are the brightly illuminated areas of moral tendencies, which allow your character to make lower level moral decisions or expressions of ideas that would otherwise fall outside of their worldview. Note that the further a decision is from the center of your worldview, the larger impact it will have on shifting it. Plus, the more decisions you make close to the center of your worldview, the more narrow-minded you will become, allowing you to make higher-level decisions. Conversely, selecting a wider range of choices will make you broad-minded, often allowing more options for making certain higher-level decisions and moral traits, perks, units to characters of particular alignment that can affect dialogue or combat skills, unavailable. Interesting. Say this, Wrath of the Righteous does it real-time and turn-based best. I 100% I agree. Not in the way it's executed, but instead in the way you can freely choose between if you want each. Yep, 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 yep. The uh, What's going on, Ghost? I, I have not seen a Dragon Age update as of yet, unfortunately. True and Alka had a lot more people on their game. Yep. Yeah, and it wasn't their first game. They had definitely had um, experience from Kingmaker. This game is a good choice of multiple endings. I'll give people who like it more sense to play it again. I think that's what they're going for. They want you to play this over and over. All right, the four moral quadrants. Humanists, each person's dignity matters most. I choose all meaning and thus what matters, but what is inalienable is that every person has worth. For the humanist, each person's dignity matters most, simply through existing as a being experiencing the world. Utilitarian, everyone's happiness combined matters most. The greatest good for the greatest number. I believe that everyone's happiness combined matters most and thus can justify harm or suffering depending on the outcome. Machiavellian, my group matters most. The ends justify the means if it favors our pursuit and maintenance of power. As a Machiavellian, my group matters most regardless of the cost to others. That's how we'll be playing. Nihilist, I matter most. Given there's nothing outside of each individual human experience, nothing ultimately matters, and that doesn't bother me. Thus, for the nihilist, I matter most. Interesting. Okay. And close. Your crew has been tasked with taking a cartload of fruit to Alderside. A starving family on the outskirts of the settlement beg you for something to eat as you roll past. Truth be told, the client probably won't miss a few apples. Machiavellian. Demand that they sacrifice something for it. Clothes, valuables, weapons, whatever. You're not a charity outfit. After a series of raids on caravans passing near your home, you put together a scouting party. You've caught a bandit leader and one of his raiders. The leader pleads for release, pledging to comply with your terms. Do you free him? Tell him that you'll let one of them go free, him or his raider, and he gets to choose which one lives. A nearby townstead has a new chief, and he's starting to flex his muscles. He sends an envoy with a threat. Pay tribute or suffer his wrath. He clearly has the military strength to back it up. Do you pay? Negotiate with the envoy and escort him back. Concealed, your top fighters follow. In town, publicly execute the envoy, displaying his head on a spike. Warn the others to surrender their chief or face the same fate. Damn! Yo, can we do something similar to that in the game? Please, please let me. Oh, man, come on now. The group is at a hard limit. Uh, Ricardo, what's going on, man? Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Love that Jack learned so much from me, and in my opinion, her being an Emmy to romance makes that make even more sense. Got you. Got you. Okay, if it works for you. If it works for you. A child in the village has started showing symptoms of the plague. You gotta go. The town chose to quarantine him and his family, but you caught him sneaking out of the house to play with other kids. What now? Rally some neighbors and evict the entire family from town. Make an example of their carelessness. You've been captured by people who've clearly gone mad, finding yourself in a pen along of, with a dew farmer you've met before, a mercenary stripped of his mess weapons, and a terrified young family. The captors assemble a massive pyre, indicating their intent for a twisted sacrifice. Noticing a guard's distraction, you're certain you can escape on your own, but every person you bring with you increases the chances you'll get caught. Convince the merc to come with you. The dew farmer can likely find his own way out, but the family will be nothing but a liability. 
You've discovered a cache of pre-apocalypse supplies in an abandoned farmhouse. You can't carry it all back on your own, so you enlist a few friends from town to help. When you return to the cache, you find a group of emaciated scavengers in the process of looting the place for themselves. Do you let them take the supplies? Let them take the supplies, but secretly follow them back to their home. Once there, you can loot their other goods and kill them all. Thank you. Please enjoy playing through your origin story. Continue. Statistics, attributes, and skill trees. Calculated from two attributes. Fortitude, strength, and agility. Temperance, uh, resolve, and awareness. Wisdom, intelligence, and charisma. Each origin story comes with unique bonuses for higher gun. For a minimum, these are a plus one for a minimum of two to each attribute. Okay. An example to the right with eight in resolve and 13 in awareness, all skills in the temperance tree start off at 21. Shooting master has a bonus of 10 for the higher guns background. In combat, movement points are derived from agility and strength, while action points are de determined by agility and intelligence. Keep that in mind when distributing attribute points. One of the unique skills in Broken Rose is the ability to have a punt, essentially taking a risk on something uncertain. Your player character has a pool of punt points they can draw on if they need to attempt a skill check that they fall just short of. Punt is derived from charisma, plus any additional points added to the punt skill. Each additional skill point doesn't directly equal one additional point. However, skill attain different effects whenever a threshold is reached. In this example, the character has a rank 2 punt skill. Increasing their punt from 32 to 50 will place them at rank 3 and so on. Okay, plus strength, power and energy effects, melee damage, health points, movement points, and intimidation checks. Okay, I'm playing Machiavellian. Does it matter whether I persuade or intimidate? Mm -hmm. Charisma, persuasion checks, right? Charisma, is there a limit on how many points? Okay, so I can make this as high as I want it, want it to be. That's interesting. Um, I really want to depend on charisma for sure. What is leadership? Each level in leadership adds a 1% chance that all companions gain plus two initiative at the start of combat. Character selects an enemy to afflict with the mark condition, giving allies plus 20% damage and accuracy while attacking this enemy. Base success rate is 50. Gain a permanent plus one to uh, initiative. So wait, 20, oh, 25 is, is a barometer. Okay, wait. Magavell, yep, that's the plan. Carno, what's going on? This The title screen says, what? Hold on, y'all, let me check it. Did I forget to, oh, I might, you know what? I might've forgotten to change that. You're so right, one second. Um, broken roads. Let me also make sure I spell that right. Machiavellian. Machiavellian. Play through. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate that. I still had it left on from my uh, last stream. Yeah, this is the newest Tyrant's <laughs> Tyranny DLC. <laughs> wow, Elric. What's going on, Carefree? How are you? Kairos has come to Australia. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Let me make sure. So I don't need melee. I'm not going to focus on combat at all. You know what makes people tick physically? Use restorative items. He's not uh, doesn't care about restorative. Barbican, what's up? What's that? Shug off damage. Mm, take a shot. Leadership, definitely. Opportunist, possibly. Oh, yeah, punt. We definitely want more punt, right? So, uh, plus one punt point. Punt for sure. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to uh, bother. So, I think leadership and uh, punt is what we're going to focus on. Opportunists, help yourself to a free swipe at enemies during a runner. All oh, right, while well, this character's quit with a melee weapon. Yeah, 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 I'm not worried about any of that. So, we'll take that to 35. Yep, 
Yep. I want to see what happens if we decide to go with an all, um, all damage run. So perception and insight, dodge and helps avoid ambushes. Hmm. We've already got 10 on charisma. I def you know what? I actually like action points, initiative, intimidation checks and resistance. I actually like the idea of him being a highly intelligent and highly charismatic individual. That makes a lot of sense to me. Agility, armor, dodge. Yeah, I don't care about that. So yeah, you know what? I think these are the two that I care about the most. And I'll take, I'll put one extra point here. Now, question becomes, do I want to reduce any of these? So endurance and toughness, probably not. Awareness, dodge and helps avoid ambushes. Do I care about avoiding ambushes? Eh, I feel like there's probably somebody else I can do that with, right? I could reduce this to one. Uh, but if it's a problem, I'm going to regret doing that here. Uh, Jill, you know, we're just going to leave this as is. We'll leave this as is. And just, and just take the rest of it. Zero, zero. All right, fine. Let's start the journey. Let's see what happens. I might have to start over, but we'll see. How's oh, going, cuckoo? <laughs> well, Jim, here we are. Kogabi's come Ooh. a long way since the last time I was out and about, but I imagine it's all still pretty underwhelming, given where you're from. Oh, I thought there was no voice acting in this game. That's nice. There is some. Um, how is Jack's uh, romance? And in three, uh, you get like one scene. Um... How long has it been since you left home? Oh, there we go. Now there's no voice acting. <laughs> oh, 15 years, give or take. Brent would never have wanted me to become a recluse, but then there are a lot of things that should have turned out differently. She clears her throat and pats your hand. Oh, that's why I paused. It actually has uh, them doing things while you're talking. Okay, cool. She clears her throat and pats your hand affectionately. Well, never mind that, anyhow. You've got a big trade to make if you want to go back home with your head held high. Need any tips before you join Mick and Jess for your trip to Brooktown? Why did my parents send me with you, really? Uh, that's a bit of a long story, she says, fluttering her hand dismissively. You've got more important things to worry about. I want to know. She sighs, closes her eyes, then takes a deep breath. When she lets it out and looks at you, she's a different person, older warrior you know brent was killed by raiders a long time ago what you didn't know is how he was out on the trail like it was so often back then i didn't think anyone knew about our little shack on the lake and he was always so careful to separate from the caravans before coming home so when i saw the torchlight coming through the trees i let them in when he got back they were lying in wait your mom tried to convince me it wasn't my fault that i couldn't have warned him anyway she smiles weakly this is part of her bid to get me to crawl back out of my shell. She knew I could never say no to you. Shaking herself, she tucks her hair back behind her ears. But this is about you and finding something to take back home and make your parents proud. If I can help, it will be my honor. What tips do you have for me? Don't get fleeced. Ooh, a two-way radio, okay? She laughs at your expression and pulls a two-way radio off her belt. You're not sure if a deal is good, give me a bell. You've got your dad's eye for people watching, though. I doubt you'll need little old me. Tell me about Brooktown. Nice place. Families, children. Haven't been there in years myself, but Sally used to run the pub. If you see her, say hi for me. What kind of trade should I be looking for? Anything you haven't seen elsewhere, really. Or something you know someone would pay top dollar for. Most of being part of a crew is figuring out what people want before they know of the need themselves. She gives you a reassuring smile. Talk to people, get the lay of the land, and keep your eyes peeled for unique opportunities. That's all. Still takes a lifetime to learn, but you'll get the hang of it. What have you got for sale? Splitting stacks. When browsing a shop, you may see a number in the bottom right corner of an item, indicating how many of that item are in a stack. To split a stack, right click and drag to move one item from that stack. Okay. And I have no money, so there's nothing I can purchase. And I don't know. Ooh, I already got a grenade. Hey, the tried and true. Absolutely. Started me off with a frag grenade. I 
a yeasty spread sandwich. The real thing, I'll be at one of the most divisive objects in the never never. A yeasty sandwich sounds terrible, but okay. <laughs> uh, uh, looks like good care. I'm trying. I got Kasumi first, and man, I love her design. Yeah, Kasumi is uh, fantastic. JV, what's going on? Yeah, it's something different. All right, bye. Actually, love, could you run an errand for me? I promised Sarah Taylor down Brookton Way that I'd get her some distilled water. See if we might start a partnership. I'm not so good around crowds, though. Do you mind? She holds out the bottle of water until you take it. Last but not least, I've arranged for Ian Mason, the mercenary over there, to give you a combat refresher. Talk to him once you've finished all your trading. Right, I better head over to my stall. You can catch me there if you need anything. Travel safely, Chuck. Player and camera. To move your camera around the map, left click on the area. White circles will appear on the ground and show your character. Left click is also used to speak to other characters and interact with certain objects. To indicate this, yep. To pan your character, uh, yep, yep. The bottom left of your screen are six icons. From left to right, they are party inventory, character sheet, moral compass, journal, map, and menu. Click on each icon for further information. You can also access the learn menu via the journal to read more about the features of Broken Roads. Okay. All right, let's expand. Can we save? We can. And there we go. Ooh. Man, it's kind of cool seeing a kangaroo just hanging around. And a small empty water bottle. Okay. And it looks like this is the edge. Anything over here? Ooh. The best part about the training post is that they want visitors. No one's going to come through if you got a toilet covered in shit, nice and clean. <laughs> um, is there such a thing as quick save? F5, quick save. Awesome. Sam, what's going on? How are you? Out of all the Mass Effect trilogy companions, I don't hear a lot about Kasumi. Uh, that's because she doesn't have that much content. She's just got a really cool mission. Who are you? She gives you the shortest of glances before returning her gaze to the horizon. Yeah? Wow, the kangaroos just bounce around here. This is going to be so cool. Um, who are you? Lynn, she stares off past her shoulder. What do you do? Surveyor, she seems not very talkative. <laughs> Got any tips for me? Don't die. She gives you a humorless grin. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue. She takes the time to look at you until she has your full attention. If you're not a surveyor, you're not worth my time. She looks away from you again. Oh, but I am a surveyor. I'm in disguise. Your face is nowhere in the ledger. Don't waste my time. <laughs> you can feel heat radiating out of the doorway in waves. When the cold of evening comes, Though the residual heat will make the inside quite comfortable. Just don't leave any food inside during the daytime unless you want it slow cooked. I'm used to having a log so I can look at these little things when uh, it goes down, but it's fine. Why wouldn't it let me look at that? Oh, was I not considered close enough? No. It's just not letting me click on that. All right. Interesting. Lovely place for a bit of a kip, but not in this wretched sun. Just clicking around it real quick. Yep, nope, that's not the problem. It just won't let me click up here. What about you? Can I click on either one of you? Nope. And then there's Tina. Welcome to Kokomi, stranger. The, effer the effervescent teenager is in outdated conductor's uniform. Salute you neatly as you approach. A polished silver whistle swings on a chain at her hip. I can always smell a good deal, and you, my friend, are carrying something that's going to make my day. She smiled, the dimples on her cheeks making her look even younger. Care to trade? What's with the uniform? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of how awesome I look. <laughs> she sweeps the chain of her whistle around her finger, making a faint wah-wah-wah noise. Her customary smile takes the sting out of her words. I found it when I was cleaning out those trains for people to stay in. It was tucked away under a console in the cab like it was waiting just for me. She puts her arm out and does a spin to let you appreciate the uniform from every angle. Noah thought it suited me, anyway. Who's Noah? 
Noah's my brother, but he's four years older than me, so he's more like my father. She chews on the inside of her cheek as she considers you. Yeah, you're probably about the same age. Where is Noah? Don't know. Signed up with a barter crew. Haven't seen him since. He says something about sowing his wild oats. She falls quiet. I really hope he doesn't become a farmer, though. She fiddles with the whistle at her hip. He's beyond terrible with plants. Anyway, why do you care? I've got everything you need. She gestures at her stall. Want to trade? Your brother left you here all alone? I've been running Coca B just fine without his help. Thank you very much. Her tone is crisp. He can stay gone for all I care. Are you in charge here? Yep. She pulls out a shining silver pocket watch and holds it up for you to see. Mount Cokeby is engraved on the front in fine handwriting around an embossed steam engine. Station's master's timepiece. She slips it back into the far pocket of her pants and gives it a low pat. Anyone gives you grief, you come to me. I don't know what time it is, though. Spring's been busted for years. Got any news for me? She thinks for a moment. Yeah, Damo's mate is in a bad way. It's a big ass, but he probably needs some medical attention if you're the kind who can give it. Don't know if that'll be enough, though. Hmm. Unfortunate. Kasumi was a DLC character. And what's going on? How are you? Let's right, check it out on this game. Looks interesting. I agree. It does look interesting. Do you know? Did you know the Aussie military actually waged war on the Hughes and Laws? No, I can't say that I did. I don't know anything about what the Australian military has done. <laughs> So he was a DLC character for two and didn't really have much screen time in three, so nobody really remembers her that much. Exactly. JV is exactly right. Let's see what you have in stock. Okay. Again, nothing I can get. So I'll move on. Hmm. She taps her lips with her finger, narrowing her eyes at you. Very strange. Nothing special to trade, but you still got that air of potential about you. Suddenly she snaps her fingers. I know. Watch out, Chook. She's about to fleece you. <laughs> Chicken. Affects her nickname given by older Australians. Interesting. She grins at Frida. No, better. I want you. She punctuates her sentence with a stab of her index finger. To convince our solar panel peddling friend over there to give me the only thing I've ever truly wanted in his life. True love? She looks faintly disgusted. Yeah, and that keeps me fed in water, doesn't it? She leans away and shakes her head. Jeez, you are old. No, I want that. So you follow, you follow her gaze to the solar panel salesman's stall, a flat black outline of a cat with a shiny marble for an eye tilts occasionally in the wind. Get it for me and I'll sing your praises far and wide. You help her out, Chook. It'll be good practice. Word of God, she smiles. Anything else before you give me my cat? Bye. Come back anytime. Hmm. Okay. Fresh veggies, premium goods. They don't tend to last long in the sun. Get them while they're hot, or <laughs> preferably before. <laughs> Water. This gaunt man looks up at you, shivering uncontrollably in the hot Kokobi sunlight. Water. He croaks the word, red eyes struggling to focus on you. What can I do for you? Apart from water, he raised one shaking hand to point at the young man next to him. His voice is a reedy croak. Demo. Bye. <coughs> I'm going to avoid uh, dialogue options from other moralities if I can help it. But if I got to choose one to finish the quest, then I'll go ahead and take it. Seem to be past the intro from what little I uh, know. We, we basically are in the intro. We just started. What's going on, Barras? Also, friends told me that, and I had to look it up. They were laughing hysterically. Because <laughs> nice. you want a solar paddle for a community. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> but no. G'day. Name's Damo. Everyone needs fuel. Black gold's rarer than actual gold these days. I got petrol, diesel, whatever you need. Black gold, interesting. Best prices this side of Meriden, or I'll eat my hat. The old man sitting next to him groans, head lolling on his shoulders. He's covered in a fine black dust, like he's been rolling around after a bushfire. A thin sheet of sweat glistens on his cheeks, but his lips are as dry as the desert air. Deimos looks at him in concern. Steady on now, old fella. He speaks with forced joviality, but there's a tenderness in his face that his worry can't quite conceal. Anything good around these parts? Nah, everything's been pretty much picked clean. For scavies like us, I mean. The big scores are out west. 
Though Perth, he shudders. After our last trip, I never want to see that skyline again. What happened on your last trip to Perth? Fire. For a moment, you're not sure you heard anything, but Damo nods. Our crews turned to work the refinery. Someone forgot to oil the parts, or maybe they didn't clean everything properly last time. He glances at Sid. I know you said sabotage, but I don't see why anyone would bother. The tank was almost dry as it was. You don't need a plan to be an asshole. Damo cocks his head to the side. True. How come the oil tank was running dry? Everything's got to run out sometime, he shrugs. My old man said the tank farm used to be like a forest, and now it's like clear-cut scrub. Doesn't help that the tank exploded when the fire caught it and raced back along the pipeline. That doesn't matter, he shakes his head. There's more. Then he sees you and coughs. <coughs> more important things to whine about. Who do you think sabotaged the refinery? Riley's rippers. He sure out slightly shifts in his chair. The effort exhausts him. Bunch of punks. He stares at Sid in horror. You know them? You're too young for that yet, kid. He closes his eyes and leans back, clearly unwilling to discuss the subject further. Who are Riley's rippers? His voice is a low growl. If you have to ask, you should know. A tremor shakes him. A and if you find out, you'll wish you hadn't. Mm. Yo, Tito, how are you? What's going on? How's the weight loss been going? Uh, weight's been steady, but it's not going up. So, hey, I'll take it. I was on the bike this morning. <laughs> I think I know why I did not recognize the intro. Each of the four, each of the four vocations have a different start. So this is the start for the barterer, because I wanted to focus on charisma. Let's see that fuel. And yeah. Oh wait, I got a little bit of money now. Oh oh wait, parties inventory. I was looking down here. Parties inventory. I got one hundred twenty-five dollars. I didn't even realize that. Barb wire, wire roll. That's interesting. Patrol. Molotov. Huh. Not going to buy anything yet, though. I heard from Tina that your mate needs help. What can I do? We got into a bit of trouble at the refinery and Sid ended up copying the worst of it. He said everything was fair dinkum, but now his hair is falling out and he hasn't eaten in three days. You know, all he probably needs is some iodine. I've got a doctor friend down Brookton Way. She'd help him, especially if you told her I sent you. She turns to you, just as a good story. Mick will jumble, grumble about wasted resources, but he won't dare to argue. Jess can be damn bloody-minded when she wants to be. Yeah? Her face lights, his face lights up, then falls again. But I've got to stay here to sell fuel. Maybe I will once we sell a few more cans. Well, what's in it for us? He frowns at you, but doesn't seem at all surprised. Not really one for charity, huh? Machiavellian. Why should I be? You need help? Our crew could do with cash. Or maybe some of that fuel. Pretty simple. <laughs> Nothing your old da wouldn't have said, Damo. Give him some fuel. Fine. Okay, look. I'll give you one canister of fuel. You can use it, hand it to your mates, or sell it yourself, whatever. Just take Sid to the clinic in Brooktown. She throws you a cautioning glance. Take the offer, Chuck. Hmm. Ooh, barter crew. One canister? You could do better than that. Come on. What? Mate, that's worth way more than a lift. You're really going to squeeze us that hard? Machiavellian. I don't see anyone else going that way, so it's going to cost you more. You want more? We're in this mess because of how hard it is to get fuel in the first place. We starve before the next run. There will be no more fuel for any of you. Two canisters. Or he's on his own. Mate, people like you. Maybe leave us the fuck alone then, would ya? She looks... Ooh, he gave it up. She looks at Damo and sighs, hands on her hip. I'll pay for the second canister, mate. Your friend needs medical attention as soon as possible. Thanks, mate. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'd shake your head, but I've had the runs for the past six days. You don't want to know what I've been using for toilet paper. <laughs> Wolf, what's up, man? How are you, dude? 
I saw you had a, a, a impressions up for this uh, game, but I haven't looked at the video yet. I'll definitely be sure to check it out tomorrow. I think I know. Why. Right. I thought it was a real troll for a second. <laughs> What's going on, Jason? Yeah, it's interesting so far. Ah! You're not going to shit on me, are you? I hope not. A violent tremor shakes him from head to toe. He'll be back once he's convinced Jess to let you ride with them. Too right, mate. He leans back uncomfortably in his chair. I'll be here. Don't forget me. Damo gives him a glorious smile. I told you there were good people out here. Hmm. Interesting. All right. And yep, that's all we need from there. Dude, is there a map? Oh, okay, there's a map. The map shows an elevated view of your current location with unexplored areas hidden beneath a uh, fog of war. Displays landmarks you come across while in the area. Helps you plan where to go next. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we went all the way up there. Now we're back over here, and I haven't explored over here, and there's a whole lower section. Okay, cool. No problem. Yeah, let's do another hard save for the cat. Friend, welcome to Kokobi and the energy source of the future. See anything you like? Hmm. I like you. What? Hmm. Let's try it. I like you. Oh, he gives a little laugh. Then, oh, has the meaning of your words sink in? He tries to cover his blush by taking off his hat to fan his face. I'm, uh, flattered, but spoken for. Ha <laughs> ha No, he's not. Shut up, he yells back. He freezes mid-fanning motion, then clears his throat and hastily resettles his hat. Want to buy some solar? Interesting. Are there romances in this game? It's only like seven or eight hours, right? So I doubt it. <laughs> but all right. Uh, what makes solar panels so special? Mate, he holds up a hand, drawing the moment out far past anyone's comfort level. <laughs> I can tell you're new to the energy game. He leans in close. These guys don't give a rat's ass about keeping informed, but me, I know my worth. When it comes to energy, you've got three choices, right? Dig up some black stuff and set it on fire. Use that big old fire orb up in the sky or run water through some turbines or some shit. I don't know about you, but I don't see a whole lot of water nearby and I hate getting dirt under my fingernails. What's special about solar is the gentleman's energy source. He gives you a painfully awkward wink. In civilization, my friend, that's the way of the future. He finally runs out of steam and gives you a supposedly charming smile. So, what do you say? Want to invest in a better, brighter you? Any chance of a discount? A dis... His voice squeaks and he coughs, then he tries to get... <coughs> a, a discount? Mate! You gotta be pulling my leg. Do you have any idea how hard it is to clean these bastards up, haul them halfway across the country and keep all the sand and shit from getting in? A discount, he scoffs. I'd sooner get caught with my pants around my ankles when the dummy walls fall down. He shakes his head and chuckles. <laughs> A discount. Come on, Jerry. Jezza, J Money, I really want that discount. Look, you seem nice. I'm just not into, uh, you know, he gestures ineffectually. <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Men or discounts? <laughs> Learned in the tutorial. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no. Sees Machiavelli. Value the reason of state and order and not selfishness or greed as such. So basically doing whatever benefits your tribe, so to speak. Exactly. That's true. I don't consider these people my tribe. I consider my party members my tribe. Once I know who my party members are, then I'll know who I'm siding with. But these folks over here, that's just the folks I grew up with. They're not necessarily the folks who are my tribe. I'm going out into the country. Jovi, what's going on? It's okay so far. I'm just getting into it. I'm just getting started. So I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. All right, we're going to go with discounts. Well, no, not those either. <laughs> he squints at you. 
This seems to give in to some inner voice. Look, if I'm ever in Brooktown, I'll buy you a beer, all right? Hmm, deal. <laughs> oh, I said, ha <laughs> ha I'll be waiting. <laughs> Please don't. I mean, uh, good, yeah, Bonza. <laughs> he shuffles his feet. Wanna buy some solar? How much for the tin cat? Tina's admitted she wants it, has she? He preens a little. New old Rusty there bring me a windfall one of these days. Well, nothing's free. Tell you what, he considers you tapping his chin. You give me some parts for my poking machine, I'll give you the cat. Fair shake? Your what? My poking machine. He points over his shoulder at something with colorful pictures and numbers behind dusty glass. It's going to make me my fortune down in Ardath. Can't you just sell me the cat? Sure. Got a thousand dollar in dues? <laughs> he grins. I know you don't. Tough luck, mate. It's my way or the highway. All right. Good. Good old. Ian Mace has got some. I saw them lying around his haystack over there. Not that he knows what people dump nearby, but I can spot a good sp sprocket a mile away. Now, want to buy some solar? What do you got for sale? Um, oh, <laughs> you really can't buy solar panels, the gentleman's energy source. Ethics. Hatred is increased by being reciprocated and can, on the other hand, be destroyed by love. Interesting. Scrap for repairs. Screwdriver. Screwdriver sounds like something I probably would need. Hmm. Red safety vest. A car battery. Silicone seal it. Keep your solar panels crack free on those windy days. Copper wiring keeps the lights on back home. Fascinating stuff, but I don't know this game well enough to know what I actually need. What you just described around the game would put both into utilitarian and Machiavellian at the same time. Yep, care for the greater good of your tribe, but selfishly manipulate other prize. So you are selfish for your tribe, not necessarily individually. Nice. Okay. Come back soon. Uh, yep, I already knew how to highlight. You're late. All right. Uh, did I talk to you? Oh, you're the one How's who, um, going? yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone treating you all oh. right? Can you tell me a bit about the other traders here? Sure. What do you want to know about? Who's the girl in the outfit? Tina, lovely bug. Or she was when I was last here. Knew our dad. Good man. If she's half of him, she'll be better than most. Tell me about Mr. Plate. Oh, Gerald. She gives you a quick savage grin. <laughs> Asking for a discount. <laughs> Who's the camo-coated guy? She taps a finger against her lips. Ian Mason, Merc. I've heard things, of course, but, well, you need to know how to defend yourself. She gives a one-shoulder shrug. Just don't take any crap from him, all right? Anything I need to know about Mick? Don't get on his bad side. She's more serious than you've ever seen her. He's a solid ally, but the man's a demon. She stares off into the distance. Who's this with the mask? Is that Mick? Good Lord, that mask is creepy. And he shakes her head. Take my word on it, Chuck. He's fair, but that doesn't mean he's kind. Remember that. Who's this Jess I'll be traveling with? Jess is a gem. She's a patient, thoughtful person. She'll steal you right. Never doubt it. Want to ask you something else? Ooh. You set me up with Gerald. You knew he wouldn't give me a discount. Her eyes glitter. I know, but it's funny. She waves at Gerald, who waves back. Pretty sure you can forgive me. Right, Chuck? She doesn't wait for an answer. There's a good laugh. Travel safe, <laughs> Chuck. Awesome. All right. Kevin, what's going on? Hey, I just saw your Wrath of Rights class record yesterday. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed it, man. Hope you, uh, it gave you some interesting information. Ah, fresh meat. He just His name is Vendor? Oh, because it just goes straight in. Small saw, cut it, slice it, all that good stuff. Yeah, I don't know what I need, so I'm just going to not buy anything yet. All right, so I can't talk to that guy. I'm busy. After a moment, he lazily gives you his attention. What do you want, kid? Looking for a real man to show you how to use a gun? A real man? What's your deal? My deal? He spares you an amused glance. My deal is that I'm the only one, st only thing standing between these bogans and a slow death in the sun. There'd be no coca bee if it w I wasn't protected the whole place. Everyone'd be too scared to shut up shop. Like you and whoever else crawled out from under a rock to limp here. Ever thought about joining up with the scouts? He snorts. That ramshackle outfit? 
I'd rather kiss my own face with a tire iron. <laughs> wow. Need a hand? With what? The camel dung or the bloody flies? He waves his hand in an Aussie salute. Go pick up all the shit you like. I won't stop you. Gerald says you've got some machine parts he wants. All right, let's say I do. But I want you to get me something in exchange. What is it with you people and your unending request? You want the parts or not? He doesn't wait for an answer. There's a guy who lives out in the sticks, hereish. He points to a spot on your map. He's got a camo helmet. I want it. Bring me that and you can scrounge to your heart's content. How do I know you're not sending me into an ambush? He gives you a non-committal shrug. I guess you just gotta weigh how badly I want that helmet against your paranoia then, don't you? Oh, and it ends the conversation, apparently. Biodegradable plastic bags will save the world, they said. Little did they know. <laughs> Shit, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> by the the tick cat asking for a cat order. I'm going to take care of it for sure. It did. I learned don't touch a size with a 10 for Paul. Absolutely. There, uh, my pleasure. Happy to help you. <laughs> oh, this has been a lot of work, but your Pathfinder Wrath the Righteous story voice supercuts were awesome. Any chance for other ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I need to get back to that. I definitely plan to do the rest of them. Ian, what's going on, dude? I can't complain at all, man. How are you? That's so cool. I never had the opportunity to get that quest. I killed that the, the guy. Really? Oh, whoa. Come on, man. <laughs> it's so quick on the draw. It's almost a bit of a pack rat. Or people dump trash here at night has a not so subtle fuck you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did that have a door? Why, why did I see a door? Oh, it, it seemed like, yeah, okay, there's a door. What's the door symbol for? That's odd. Okay. I don't know. Let's go up over here first. Make sure there's nothing up over here. Okay, nope, there's nothing over there. Now, uh, this Tina's hut. Wait, who's that? Oh, is that just the, uh, no. Oh, 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 that, that's me who was showing. Okay. Vendor, this is Ian. Beyond the tracks. Old world goods. Scavenge from some remote or irradiated warehouse. Could be gold, but more likely everything under the first layer is dodgy, dirty, or full of holes. Dude, the, the animals littered around here are so freaking cool. But the question marks you cannot click on are not cool. What's the deal with that? All right. It's weird that it that they would have that like in the tutorial section. I'm not even the actual game yet. <laughs> Keeping all the the panels clear, debris and sand must be one hell of a job. The whole shebang that makes Coca be worth trading at. Barter crews can arrange to meet up or make requests when the bloody thing's working. That is. Hmm. Dang, your reading comprehension is on point. I made too many mistakes while reading and stutter. <laughs> I'll only take before you got smooth. My father used to make me do speed reader over and over again as a kid. So I actually got to the point that I can read without like actually reading. You know, most people read the words to themselves when they're like reading a book. If you just trust your eyes and your brain to recognize the words, you can actually read much faster. So he made sure that all of his sons understood how to do that, and that made me a much better reader in general. Because he is playing the merchant star. Yeah, yeah, I'm a barter. I think you're right. Higher gun was a bit more aggressive. Oh, I'm sure. And of course you picked higher gun. <laughs> Norris, what's up, man? This looks cool. I'm loving the quality CRPG boom. Yeah, you know, I thought this was going to be a light year. Keeping Hoons out since 2041. I thought it was going to be a light year, but I played like four or five new games. Uh, in the past few months. So it's been kind of cool. There's actually uh, quite a few interesting CRPGs that are coming out. Oh yeah, all three videos I saw today had chosen higher guns. See, I'm always trying to do something a little different. Sunday, what's up, dude? Man, mate, trim the audio lead for a Broken Rose. Oh, the audio, what's going on, man? How are you? This is what I doubt my favorite Broken Rose gameplay so far. I mean, it's so bloody tight. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it, mate. Appreciate you uh, making this game. I'm really enjoying it thus far. Well, what's Broken Rose? Looks sort of like Wasteland. Uh, so, 
sort of like Fallout. Um, you're in this uh, irradiated wasteland area. It's very, very narr narrative heavy. It's been interesting so far, Cosmic. So there is actually my fave. Really? Although I didn't play it, it was cool to be an explorer cartographer type. That makes sense in this type of game. DM, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a minute. Hope things are going well, man. Hey, for those who aren't already uh, subscribed to DM, make sure you do. He's another CRPG content creator. Does things on like Baldur's Gate 3, Pillars of Eternity. Really good guy. So definitely show us some support. Of course, I don't have to tell y'all to support Wolfheart. All of y'all are Wolfheart supporters already anyway. So, <laughs> but some of you might not have joined DM yet. <laughs> Uh, have you enjoyed, uh, oh, you enjoyed my Dragon's Dogma 2 Marathon? Yeah, oh, and Wolfhard, yeah, Wolfhard, uh, you blazed through it, right? You're done with Dragon's Dogma 2, right, dude? Always a good spirits, DM, always a good spirits. Spirits to success of the Fallout 1 and 2. Yeah, it seems that way. Some things never go out of style, like throwing shop hard decks at round ones. <laughs> All right. Let me figure out who is the person that he's referring to see you later okay is there a journal there is a journal rise of the surplus okay uh oh so it's all under this one then that i can already see journal yeah yeah, yeah. keep track of everything okay here sickness i can't do that yet flies get in get drill la 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 i haven't completed any quests i haven't failed any quests cool all right I am slightly confused. So I guess I am supposed to leave this little area. Is it? Whoa. Oh, no. Maybe not, actually. Okay. Hold on. I missed something. Missed something directly here, I guess I say. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Oh, okay. So I'm too far over. Oh, here we go. This middle area. Stranger. Stranger danger. Some clever bastard has vandalized the sign to read, look for trade instead. The, the kid, things kids get up to, eh? <laughs> Pretty swish to have your own personal power generator. Being a techie has its advantages. There's a cool breeze blowing out the open door. Some blokes get all the luck. Oh, wait, this is a hand symbol. What am I doing here? Am I stealing? Oh, no. Uh, shack strap. If you want to yarn with your long distance mate, you'd be wise to keep parts like these on hand and a regular strap. Hey, I'll take it. And this was one I already looked at. This one I've not. Hot enough to cook on just from the sun. Oh, this is where the donkey was. Okay. I never went up. These type of games, it's always hard to know if it's post-apocalyptic or just normal American desert. Yeah, this was definitely post-apocalyptic. Uh, so far, I'm enjoying it um, on DM. So far, I'm enjoying it. I, you know, I like narrative heavy games. So it gives me that Disco Elysium uh, feel. We'll see how it is when I get deeper into it, though. As I've never heard of Wolf Art. Really? What's going on, Prodigal Doll? I think I found you through a Mortismal Gaming name drop. Mortismal Gaming mentioned me? Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't see that video. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Wolfhard does uh, say a lot of the same type of content as me, a lot of CRPG stuff, but he is definitely uh, head honcho when it comes to Baldur's Gate 3. Really covered that game very heavily, very well. Uh, uh, honestly, watching the way that he handled Baldur's Gate 3 release over the last couple of years taught me a lot personally about a content creator, about the way that you care for a community and make sure that you consistently feed a community, community who is looking for news and updates about a particular game. Whenever Alcat does their next really, really huge game, I'm definitely going to implement a lot of the things that he saw me did. So that I saw him do rather. So it's a lot of fun just watching his content because it's very high quality. But from my personal standpoint, being a content creator, I learn a lot from watching him, people like him, DM, Mortismal Gaming. Like I get a lot from the, these other people that I get to look at. This container's locked up tight. All right then, keep your tires. <laughs> How's that? Oh, we're digging through trash. Uh, what's this, useful rags, large empty milk bottle. Excellent, all right. So wait, this guy was not the guy. Get in, Mesa help helmet for Orkney height. Okay, cool. So I'm. This is not like the final. This the, the intro, I guess, is not contained in this area. So let's go to the door and see what happens. In fact, we'll get closer to the door and then save. 
Are there really cows in Australia? Excellent question. I've never been. Yeah, cows are introduced in Australia and do really well there. Hmm, just like ostriches do well in Texas, for example. I think I saw an ostrich somewhere in the desert as well. CRP. If he's a CRPG guy, why does the name say FPS? You would have to ask him that. <laughs> uh, game cannot be saved at this moment. Why not? What's the problem? Oh, 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 because it already did a save. Cool. All right, now, if I click on the door, what happens? Travel to Orkney Heights. I assume that's not going to fail these quests, right? I'm, it's expected that I'm going to leave. Uh, I don't do shit. I just watch Slater play game. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, I got 100 XP from that. Nice. Uh, live with the, live with the dream. Loser, what's going on, man? How are you? We were headed to my Caribbean island tomorrow. <laughs> Better break out that coconut oil. Awesome. All right. Okay, this looks like a place where there will not be combat. Let's see if that's true. We got some copper wiring. Awesome. This bloke decided to quit while he was <laughs> while he was ahead, really. <laughs> All right, what is this? Doo -doo -doo. Ooh, tune tutor, baby's first instrument for little scamps who love to annoy their older siblings. All right, bag of dollars and bandages. I'm sure that'll come in handy at some point. And what's this? Uh, what's that? More useful rags. Okay, if you say so. A fine collection of Duvalikis, Jiggers, Thingamabobs, and Watses. All right, that's the edge. So now we can come back down the middle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get food! What's going on, man? How are you? Three! How are you, dude? What's poppin', Chief? Hope you're having a good stream. I am. I'm enjoying the game thoroughly so far. Whoops. In one second. Whoa, wait a minute. She got kind of a bandit look to her. Lady, please don't let make me shoot you. I don't want to have to shoot you. I do have this gun strap. It's not just for show. Her tone is smug. Her movement languid. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, snap. Scary mask guy came with her. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to put you on the ground. Three holes in the ground? She shoots them a look that could strip paint. Oh, rhetorical. I get it. <laughs> Looks like we caught ourselves a fellow scavenger. Well, fellow scavenger, care to give us the goss on how you came to find old what's it shack all by your lonesome? Uh, hmm. Ian Mason told me about it. I told you old dad I got his in for us. We oughta. She hisses at him through clenched teeth. Shut up! He falls silent. She looks you over from head to toe. That's a nice belt you've got there. And nice boots. I'll try not to get too much of your blood on them. She jerks her head towards you. Take them out. Uh, hmm. This is not good. This is not good. I gave myself like no combat options whatsoever. <laughs> We want ES6 to bring back classes. Mmm. Or your crust to pop up as your class. That might be interesting. Uh, it is party based, but I don't have any party members yet. You play anything that's party based. Decently well played very short games, but now I want to finish. Ooh, Siege of Dragon Spear and then Icewind Dale. I still have never played Icewind Dale. Different weapons are more effective depending on the different distance from the target. Pistols and shotguns work well up both rifles from medium distances. Sniper rifles better from a little further away. Experiment with different weapons at varying distances to work out the optimal range. Your shooting mastery and dead eye skills will also affect damage and accuracy as you improve them. All right. Created path is invalid. I could attack. What kind of weapon do I have? What am I using? Uh, it's not telling me. This looks like a shotgun. Can I get into my inventory? It will not let me get into my inventory. So I'm just going to assume this is a shotgun. And 43% chance here, 43% chance there. He's got 30 health. She's got 30 health. So might as well go here. And I missed. And now I don't have enough action points. And can I could move, though, if I wanted to. I guess I can move further away from her instead of just being right in front of her. This is considered... 
to be. I assume that shield thing means that I can, um, that that's protection. So I might as well get some protection, I suppose. Oh, these are the action points. So I got four movement points and four action points, I assume. So I could use one action point to go ahead and reload. But then the question also becomes, if I in turn, does it save any of my action points? I'm gonna assume no, I'm not getting any sort of pop-up or anything that's telling me that. Wait, wait, show info, what does that do? Um, not, hmm, what is that? Punt, oh, punt, invest at least one point in punt, grants a plus one punt, opportunist, okay. will make an attack on any attempt to move out of main lane, and justify the means, benefit and restriction, critical hit, and critical mischances are doubled. Praise or blame, it's all up to you. Be the good and the bad. If this character ends combat without combat fatigue, they start the next combat with the brave condition. The allies gain inspired. That doesn't matter right now. Better fear than love. Your fearsome reputation precedes you. At the start of combat, one enemy combatant might retreat. Some high level enemies are immune and this does not affect animals. Okay, reload. And in turn. <laughs> Sprint. He's gonna run right up. And let me know you really should have killed me the first time. All right, this is now not a prime 0% accuracy. How much accuracy for you? 43%. Do I draw an attack of opportunity if I move away? It's not making that clear. Here, hold on. Uh, you know what? No time like the president to find out. Yep, it does, but he missed. So, hey, let's run. Run, 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 run. What, flank? Why can't I run over here? Oh, maybe when he hit me, he took away some of my um, movement points. That's fine. Ah. Yeah. Okay. That helped. Oh, I guess I could have used the hammer, but no, nah, I'm good on that. I'm at. I'm tired. That's why I ran into a bit of a problem. <laughs> Hensler, what's going on, dude? How are you, man? Rob, what's up, man? How are you? I do not know why the reviews are so low on Steam. Um. Supposedly the combat is tacked on and I think some people weren't expecting it to be short My understanding is like seven to ten hours to finish this game, which doesn't bother me at all, but might bother other people All right, I'm actually gonna um, Bank this action point because I'm curious if uh, you can keep it Missed on that excellent He's probably only gonna miss so many times well, he missed twice there. Uh, opportunist. This character will make an attack on him. Right, right, right. If I move, yeah, he's going to... But I don't have... That's four. Oh, I, I got 43% on him right now, even though he's close. Oh, this says plus zero accuracy, but I still have the same chance. So, yeah, I might as well... I'm getting kind of tired of him... Uh, Resisting my little attacks, but wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute. When using a melee weapon from distance, if your target is reachable, your character will approach them to give with an attack. Blah blah blah. Oh, so it costs a point for you to. It costs one action point for you to switch to a different weapon. Uh, all right. I didn't realize that. Okay. Fine. Uh, in turn. Ah, oh, that sucked. And here we go. Oh. While in combat, you can use healing items to heal yourself and companions. To heal, you must select the healing item on the radio wheel, then use left click when hovering over yourself or a team member when close enough to them. How do I bring up the radio wheel? But, okay, hold on. Happens if I oh here we go. Bandages uses left just one. I really don't want to use my bandage, but it's okay. Sunset, what's going on? Yeah, I do like the music. Um, do I want to use this? Oh, it costs three action points too. Oh, I should have thrown a grenade at them. I forgot about this. How much is this? Four. How do I know? Okay, yeah, so it's got him, but not me. I almost want to use that. 
Might make more sense to do it on her. Oh, wait, can I get both of you at the same time? Damn, that's what I should have done. All right, you know what? I'm definitely not using um, uh, 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 med kit now because I should have just done a, used a grenade from the very beginning. So that's what we're going to focus on here. You need to reload. You have fired your last round of your weapon, and now must re there's infinite ammunition, but reloading does come with expensive action points. Below your equipped weapon, you can see blah, blah, blah. Fine, reload. Oh, and I had to use one to move at the first, in the beginning, so fine, and turn. I might die, that's fine. I'd rather die than have to use a bandage. Yep, he might kill me, it's fine. Critical fail, look at you. All right, now, reload. Oh, it's one, takes one action point per, uh, per bullet to reload. That's unfortunate. Ba 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 ba. Mm hmm. All right. Sucks that I can only attack once at a time. But that's my fault. I wanted to depend completely on party members, obviously, but at least I'm hardy enough. There we go. Sooner or later. I mean, it's 43% no matter which person I target, so that's why I'm not worried about it. Resisted main. Mm -hmm. Dude, you know what? Here, I want to start it over. I want to just use that grenade right from the beginning and hit both of them. After that, we can do whatever. Let me go, let me go. What's the problem? Whoa, it's not letting me click anything. Uh oh. Can't click anything. Can't press escape. Hold on. Let me tab out and tab back in. Uh, uh oh. It's not letting me tab out and tab back in either. Huh, huh, huh. But wait, it lets me do this. That's interesting. So wait. But it won't let me click the character and, and do that. So here, hold on. How about main menu? If I do that. And then continue. Then it loads back up. Da, da, da. Nope, that didn't do it. All right, here, let's quit all the way out and see if loading it back in fixes the issue. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. All right, load it back up. Run away to the edge to retreat. Ah, uh, nah, I'm not, we're not doing no retreating. Fury, what's going on, man? LT, how are you? Sorry, I was so busy with the fire, I didn't even notice you all coming in. Picked up Broken Ro Rose as well, but I'm binge watching season one of the Fallout series. You like the Fallout series so far? Awesome. I plan to uh, catch up with it this um, this weekend. This weekend. Weird West vibes. That makes sense, Fury. They're mostly negative on Steam at the moment. Do they give a reason why? Okay, now I can move. I don't know what I did before to trigger that uh, old girl coming out, though. But here, we'll look at this. Ah, here we go. Yep, clicking on. Oh, I, oh, that thing had the military helmet. All right. Well, 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 what do we have here? Uh, let's do something different. You first. Kid, you ought to respect your elders. His companion gives him another dirty look, uh, by which I mean me, obviously. No one else. <laughs> All right. Now. Let's run this back. Optimal range and all that stuff. How do I do this? Yep, let me get that. And is it possible? You serious? It is not possible to get both of y'all at the same time? Nope. All right, fine. Um, yeah, I'll do this. Helpful. All right, and now I'm gonna move over here. Da -da 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 and in return, that was a very uh. Oh, but now she's doing better, of course. Oh, I tell you, you're gonna sprint over. Oh, but you're not gonna get quite uh, up to me. That's fine. Can I shoot you from here? Zero percent. Okay, that's fine. 
So I guess I'll just shoot you instead. 43%. Let's do. Hey, gotcha. And oh, but I can't get all the way back over there to, uh, now because I did that, huh? Oh, that's what. I, wait, wait, wait. No, it still got that white line though. I don't know, but it's telling me. Okay, cool. So there's no point in moving over there. So. Oh wait, why does it feel like? Hmm. All right. Uh. Let's go ahead and reload and in turn. Bam, bam, bam. So word to the wise: get plenty of uh, grenades. You gonna come over? All right. Uh, technically, I really, really do need a bandage, but I feel like taking you out with me, with me more. Yeah, there we go. I like that, like that. And turn. Did she maim me in some sort of way? Why is it that now I only have three, um, three action points? And look, I'm gonna end up using a bandage anyway. That's unfortunate, but it is. What it is. All right. And I think that's all, yep, that's all I can do. So in turn, all right, she's gonna miss that, excellent. And then we're gonna get 43%. Just gonna miss again, come on, man, seriously. I'm gonna do a reload and we're gonna end and she's gonna hit me again and it's gonna really irritate me, but it's fine. There we go, and now you're injured. Now, now we're talking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I guess the survival of the foot fittest. I don't have any uh, bandages to use, so it just is what it is at this point. Either I'm gonna make it or I'm not. Let's try, there we go. Party game, 20 experience. You play Weird West? I did, I did. It was a, a weird, yep, it was underrated. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for sure. I'm not sure. Um, more i am certain it is more than 10 hours except maybe if someone does not read mm, okay um in fact i'm pretty sure i did a uh, a review of weird west side by the amount of graphic violence in the fallout show nice the, the uh, fallout is a show that should have graphic violence <laughs> he's bad as anyway <laughs> what's going on liquid hey tom how are you man that the tastes are everything for many reviewers if you expect to see rpg this is not it. Yeah, it gives you something a little bit different. I mean, where was more fantasy sci-fi for you? California one werewolf? Three years old. Dollar. Okay, cool. So yeah, take all of that. And I wonder if I can craft bandages. Sophie, what's going on with you? Uh, you got a pistol. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. What's in here? Give me another grenade, please. Ooh, look at that. All right. Oh, I, oh, that's uh, that just said two grenades, right? Party inventory shows your party's equipped items, money, and goods. You're glad along your journey. This serves as a shared stash of items, but it's not accessible within combat. So be sure to equip your characters with weapons and utility items before battle. To equip and unequip, da da da. If you wish to split a stack, right click, blah blah blah. Okay, so I got two grenades. Oh, 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 there we go. Grenades go here. Grenades go here. Yeah, I want two of them bad boys. And then, do I have any more? I do have more bandages. Bandages go here. Does beer? What does beer do? That, in, that increases initiative in combat. Uh, he doesn't need more initiative. He just needs to stay alive because it's just not going to be all that great for him regardless. Uh, can he restore his 8 HP? How much? Uh, I miss plenty of HP, so I'm going to go ahead and use you. And then does this? Restore 6 HP and removes burning. Small empty water bottle. You know, I'm gonna use one of these. We're not gonna use up the whole thing though. Small first aid kit. We're gonna hold on to that for now. Let's cross for a shotgun bill. <laughs> not not on uh, my main character, but maybe on one of the party members. Um, all right, I did that, did that. All right, I already searched through there somehow. What's in here? Is this small empty? I hope there's a way for me to fill these water bottles. That would be nice. Why does it have a, a, a magnifying glass, but it doesn't allow me to click on it? That's so weird. Um, okay. Glyph, give fleas a chance. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, I'll look at that. All right. Now let's look around over here. 
make sure there's nothing else that I missed. It's Retro Shooters Blood West. Hmm. In any game where they exist, they, they always use lever action rifles or revolvers. <laughs> if you're a tabletop guy, I recommend Deadlands Re Reloaded. Ooh. You know, that around 25 to 30 US uh, dollars would pass better. So that's the problem. This lone wanderer could use a lick of paint. Is that is that the reason why people are, have been rating this game somewhat lower because they uh, feel like it's priced too high? I think I might have missed that part of the dialogue. Oh, I missed a corner over here. Okay, cool. Yep, that's good. And then fine. Yep, I got that. Now all the way down here. I guess I missed it. Sorry, you know you you know how it is. You got to remove all that fog of war. Make sure you didn't miss anything. I'm crappy enough in combat as it is. I don't need to make it worse. Um, there we go. So, yep, travel to Kokobi. Yeah, my equipment was also not showing on my character when I equipped it. Put on new uh, good in a shirt, nothing changed. Mmm, interesting. Negative re reviews complain about combat and story, but there's only 35 or so reviews for now. Right, because it just came out. Interesting, okay. All right, first in. Welcome back. He grinned, showing too many teeth. You sent me into an ambush. Not on purpose. Now, did you get it or not? <laughs> what? <laughs> no surprise. No, wait, who ambushed you? No, nothing. Just, eh, I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> uh, uh, now nah, I give him this helmet because I need the things he can give me. Yeah, I got it. Give him the helmet. Thanks. He tosses it into the shipping container behind him without looking. Enjoy your scavenging. Okay. Did he give me the parts? Bring, oh, bring the machine parts. Okay, cool. So they automatically put in my inventory, I guess. Long new hood and a shirt. Gotcha, okay. It's that everything is so pricey because I like to buy Broken Roads, Crown Wars, and the upcoming Destiny DLC, so I'm scrapped for cash. Yeah, I understand uh, the feeling. This is more new games than I've ever played in a year in quite some time. <laughs> James, what's all going on, man? Yeah, I think the art style is really interesting. Welcome back, he grinned, showing too many teeth. Frida said you could give me some combat training. Not yet, you don't, Chook. Get on that other business before you do the fun stuff. Oh, he smirks. You heard the boss. I'm the fun stuff. <laughs> he waves you away. Come back later. All right. So first, talk to you. All right, the art is amazing. Hey, it's all supposedly hand-drawn art, pockets. too. That's awesome. Highway, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. So this is supposed to be like Fallout in the Australian Outback, kind of. It's this got the same wasteland sort of feel, but it's very, very narrative heavy, from my understanding at least. He is clearly playing to the other merchants who just as clearly are ignoring him. Still no discounts, I'm afraid. I've got the machine parts for you. Bloody brilliant. He takes the parts from you and his face lights up. You got an eye for sprockets too. Glad to meet a fellow connoisseur. He pronounces it con Einzor. <laughs> you manage to not flinch, but just barely. Gerald doesn't notice. Narrator. That's, that's interesting. Okay. He picks up Rusty and passes the strange garden ornament into your hands. Sorry to say goodbye to you, kitty cat, but I've got a fortune waiting for me. Bye. Come back soon. I will. G'day. All right. What can I do for you? Wait a minute. What? She's Tina. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I'm supposed to just sell it to her. It's Emerald Eyes. I, the way they got this gold spark around is hilarious. It's Emerald Eyes follow you no matter where you stand. A candy trader would love this Fort Ferris feline. All right. Make a deal. Wait, wait, wait. So do I have to... Items value. Do I have to ask her to, uh... Okay. 
Now, oh, make it a deal. And then she puts her money up, and then you confirm. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I knew you could do it. She takes the cat and plants it under the stall next to her hut. There. You're not going anywhere. Leveling up. You just leveled up. Open the character sheet to assign your one attribute point and ten skill points to your character. Excellent. Giving in a final affectionate pass, she turns to you. Thanks, friend. Nice. Okay. You have read her saying it's one of those games that you are waiting till it's as good and it never does. Hmm. Okay. Uh, gaming as a whole is becoming prohibitively expensive. An industry standard price can be good or bad. I'm personally not entirely opposed to the idea of pricing game based on experience and length combined. To be honest with you, I've always felt like games were expensive. I remember moving out of my parents' house and telling myself there was no way in hell I was going to put down $250 to get an Xbox console. And I would have stuck to my guns if it hadn't been for Knights of the Old Republic. You know, so this is also part of the reason why I focus so much on games that have a huge amount of replay value, that give you a lot of control over decisions that you make. Because I used to be the type of person who would just replay the same game over and over again for months instead of buying new games all the time. So I really focus on games where I feel like you're getting a nice bang for your buck. She spots some new arrivals. And we'll look at that right on time. And by that, you mean half a day late. She waves at a sun-baked woman and overdressed man walking over from where they've hitched their camels. Hello there, Tina. Hmm. Lovely as the day is long, as always. I like mixed portrait. Stranger. Would have been here sooner, but someone got in his brain that what the town needed was another pack with Alder's side. I swear the poor kid they sent as their representative is probably still running as fast as he can. Some people have no patience for the finer points of diplomacy. He shakes his head. I suppose introductions are in order. I'm Mick Jones, and this is Jess Brown. Runs Brooktown's barter crew when I'm needed elsewhere. He studies you. So, you're a new face in this crowd. You into forging alliances, or do you prefer to rough it alone? Machiavellian. I team up with others when they suit my purposes. It's the only way to be, kid. There we go. Ooh, I like it that in this game, people don't mind if you're self-serving. Hmm, okay. Very, very interesting. Oh, I can't wait for a uh, new line arc. I cannot wait. That looks like such a fun game. I really, really hope it pulls through on uh, s some of the things that it's claiming. So, Cole, what's going on, dude? How are you? Back in the early 90s, SNES cartridges were $99 per game, but that was also a regional thing at the time. Wow, that's crazy. What part in an RPG game uh, as a streamer got you the most frustrated? Mine was Pathfinder, The Playful Darkness. You know, that didn't frustrate me because I wasn't streaming back then. The hardest part for me that I faced so far as a streamer was Pillars of Eternity 2, Forgotten Sanctum, the final, final boss. I pl played that fight again and again for like an hour and a half and couldn't beat it. I had to, in the stream in frustration, uh, uh, sleep on it, come back to the fight the next, uh, the next afternoon, figure out a strategy to actually win the fight, and then by the time it, 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 I was supposed to stream that evening, I had it figured out, started up the stream, and beat it on my first go. But I was so frustrated during that fight. And honestly, that fight is what makes me want to play Dead Fire again because I feel like a lot of the builds and the setups I had during my run sucked. I should have done much better. So I kind of want to roll, roll it back, redo a lot of my thinking and a lot of my builds in that game, and then steamroll the competition. <laughs> she gives them a long-suffering look and sighs. On that note, I think I'll go check in on Frida. She gives you a friendly nod. Pleasure to meet you. At least you've got your head screwed on straight. He gives you a friendly nod. Not that I'd expect any less from someone Frida's taken under her wing. Well, I better go pay my respects so those bludgers will tell people I'm going soft. Come get me when you're done, and Jess and I will see you safely to Brookton. All right, so move on. Talk to Mick in the marketplace to travel to Brookton. Interesting. Optional. Practice your... Uh, uh, your gun craft. I could bring distilled water to Sarah at the clinic. Okay. Optional. Say hi to Sally Eads in the Brookton pub. 
Get your trade goods from the camel card. Uh, here, okay, we'll do this first. <laughs> Remilio, what's going on? That is precisely why Neverwinter Nights is one of my favorite CRPGs of all time. A lovely game and passionate community that is absolutely fun with countless stories and campaigns. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. How about that combat training now? He looks to free to shit. What? Denied for now. Why? Whatever. Optional practice gun crab. Wait, get your trade goods from the camel cart. Oh, this is is this considered to be the camel cart? Hey, look. Uh, what do you got for sale? He didn't say anything about trade goods. What is Come the back soon. What is Dusty Shack, Tina's Hut? I'm confused. What is supposed to be the camel cart? What do you want me to do, lady? How's it going? Everyone what do you got for sale? Hut? Soap used for cleaning yourself. Your trade Travel goods. Safely, I assume that's why she won't let me. I assume she won't let me uh, do the gun portion because she feels like I haven't done all the quests that were here. But I don't understand what quest I could have missed. Right, so there's no... I wish the hands <laughs> didn't stay there after you looted it. It makes me do it again. All right. I know I gave him what he needs. These are the only camels with a car, right? Wait a minute. There's this whole section. Let me look over here. This guy, I, I couldn't click on him. And this guy, I couldn't say anything to. They couldn't... Uh, I couldn't say anything to them either. So, yeah, the only camel cart should be this one right over here, right? So, I can... Wait, did I already... Did I click on these? It, it's for the camels, mate. Go get your own food, right? <laughs> oh, 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 here we go. Is this it? Oh, rope. Great for tying your shit down during a sandstorm. Bandages and a small water bottle. Boom. Much better. Much better. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Unless you can smash it, then go for your life, you yobo. <laughs> Kunchu, what's going on? Game is good so far. I got no complaints. Cyberpunk and steampunk are all also settings, but I want a solar punk settings. Ha, ha, ha. You might need to wait a little bit for that. James, what's going on? Yep, I just found it. Thanks, dude. Yep, my pleasure, Tom. No problem. For real, though. How's this game so far? Getting a post-apocalyptic Weird West vibe. Jim, somebody else was just mentioning Weird West. It's definitely similar to that game so far, but this is actually still the intro, so it's hard to give you uh, uh, more than that. All right, now will you let me practice? Because if you won't let me practice, then I probably have to just leave. There we go. Finally, he smirks and turns his body to face you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Reviews seem terrible all around. I, I think, though, when I haven't played it, I think the reviews are terrible because they were expecting something they didn't get. I knew up front this was going to be narrative heavy. The combat was not going to be the focus. Uh, I, I did not know before the game came out that it was going to be short. Um, but a lot of people are reporting... I've heard seven hours. Uh, somebody else says it feels like it's more than that, but let's say it's somewhere between 10 and 20 hours. And so I think a lot of people were expecting a longer experience. Um, I don't remember how much this game cost, but I think it was around the 30 to $40 range. And so some people might feel like a 10 to 20, a, a 10 hour experience that's really focused more so on replayability, they might have felt like it was overpriced. I can't tell you anything yet without having played more. Actia, what's going on? What is your favorite novel? Hmm. It's hard to say right off the top of my head. Because, you know, I used to read a lot of graphic novels. Like, I, if, okay, off the top of my head, 
including graphic novels. Scalped was one of my favorite graphic novels of all time. I used to read the, a graphic novel version that was a collection of the Fable series. Loved that. I loved um, The Lord of the Rings. My father had them all in one book. Uh, had me read it as a kid. I absolutely loved it. Thought it was incredible. I read Dune as a kid. Uh, as a kid, loved that. Loved the movies as well. Thought they were amazing. Um, novels. Do novels have to be fiction, or uh, can they also be real? Um, I think I gave you four, right? What's a fifth one? Um, I really enjoy the Harry Potter series as well. Big fan of those. I'm most excited for Destiny DLC. I never got into Destiny. For the full review slander. Yep, I'll definitely have one. Narrative heaven is fine with me if the character's lore and atmosphere are well done. Yep, I can't tell you yet whether or not they're well done here. But I am enjoying my times thus far. Princess Stubbs, what's going on? How are you all doing? I did hear it was an indie game, so I wasn't expecting it to be very long. Exactly, same here. Same here. Nakukoro is a fantastic visual sound novel. Hmm, interesting. All right. You don't get something for nothing, though, little boy. What? You've got to pay to play. That sounds terrible. How much you got? Whatever it is, I'll cover it. His eyes never leave your face. Pity. <laughs> what? After a moment, he stretches his arms wide, cracking his shoulders. Let's get this party started then. He steps around behind you. Draw your gun. Draw your gun quickly. Steady on there, blaze of glory. You're liable to drop your weapon right in the dirt unless you practice that maneuver like mad. What you want to do is aim down the sight. He steps closer behind you, too close, and wraps his arms around you, taking hold of your wrist. Wow! <laughs> this is wild! <laughs> After he just called you little boy, <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, stay absolutely still. <laughs> Good boy. Just like that. Oh, that's awful. Concentrate and squeeze. You feel him shift behind you. Then he places his index finger over yours inside the trigger guard. Don't pull. You'll miss the, your target. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I don't have number three in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Squeeze the trigger. <laughs> a glass bottle <coughs> evaporates into a cloud of smoke and sparkling dust. You are natural. His voice is a deep purr. He slowly steps away. Why don't you take a crack at it by yourself? I'll see how you measure up. Ooh, you could practice against Ian Mason. Oh, crazy. Practice on the mannequin. Whoa. Oh. All right. Good Lord. You need to reload, I know. He's like, man, you can't hit the mannequin that's right in front of you? Yeah, dude, it's rough out here. It's real out here. Hmm. He nods, then pushes your gun arm down. That's enough wasting bullets for today, kid. You did good. No, I did not. I did terrible. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Whatever. he's got nothing to sell. I, I wanted a couple more of them grenades, but all right. <laughs> Broke back in the outback. <laughs> Live your Australian gay fantasy. <laughs> Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much. <laughs> At least over the riding cowboys. <laughs> yeah, I had to let that go. Also, Tolkien disliked Dune. Really? Because it directly criticized his religion. That's far from surprising. He was an idealist, and, and Dune is cynical by nature. What religion was Dune supposed to be critical of? 
Booty Warriors on the loose. <laughs> Booty Warrior for the Bulldogs. I don't want you, and, I, and I'm going to have you. <laughs> nope. I'm going to completely depend on my party members, JV. Can't wait until I get a couple. Seems like it'll be real soon. All right. Brooktown, Brooktown, and bring the distilled water to Sarah Taylor at the clinic. Wait, do I still have distilled water? Oh, okay. I got the distilled water. Um, so I'm good on that. And yeah, I think we could just talk with Mick. So let's go ahead and go. Boop, 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 boop. That's XCOM A for sure. <laughs> oh, Tolkien was Catholic. Mmm. Don't criticize our religion. Tolkien was a devout Christian. Got you. Okay, I never realized that. Always happy to see a new friendly face out here. Hope the road's been treating you well. Could we give could we give a skip six scavy a lift to Brookton on the back of your car? Mick looks like he's about to say something, but she holds up her hand and stave him off. Sid's that bad, huh? Yeah, I'll shift some things around. Get him over to the car and I'll handle the rest. Who are you? Like Mick said, name's Jess, trader from out of Brooktown. I mostly travel with Mick, but I have been known to go solo. And you look like newly minted barter crew. She claps you on the shoulder and grins. Welcome to the trails, brother. What do you do? I drive a camel car between Brookton and Kokobi as part of a permanent trade route. Occasionally I, ch I chance it and sleep out under the stars, but only when I know I won't get caught. What can you tell me about Kokobi? Why ask me when Tina's right there? She shrugs. Used to be a rail stop before the world went to hell. Became a trading post because people could follow the tracks. She points at the parallel lines of iron stretching off across the countryside. Do you come here often? Every couple of days, she scratches her cheek. It's not a bad run, and Tina knows how to hold the good stuff for us. Need anything? Nothing at the moment, but thanks for asking. She gives you the briefest of smiles. Got anything to trade? Nah, we're here picking up other people's orders and stuff to sell back home. Have a good one. She doesn't have anything else to say, right? How's it going? Everyone Let me check what you got one right? more time. You got, oh, you got water, but I think I'm good on that. Potatoes and stuff. Oh, uh, I, I kind of feel like I should have some. I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm a, whoa, 25. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 not, not all of it. There we go. Make it a deal. Confirm. Never know when you need some soap. All right. Travel bye. safely, Took. Now, uh, that's what she had. I know I didn't need anything he had. Let me check his uh, stash need one some more fuel? time. Oh. Um, why do you care what happens to some old geezer? Sid's me dad's mate from way back. Kept us afloat after my old man carked it. He didn't want me getting into this life, but times are tough. And he said we only do a couple of runs just to get ahead of the game catch a glint of tears in his eyes before he looks away and pinches the bridge of his nose. Mm. Jess will take Sid to Brookton. You good to go? At Sid's nod, Damo helps him to his feet. Throwing Sid's arm across his shoulders, Damo all but drags him to the camels. He gets him settled, then turns to you. Doing criticized messiah figures and hero worshiping humans. Mmm, gotcha. I think we'll be doing this in a kind of way. <laughs> <Literally. laughs> Boondocks was amazing. I'll catch you up at Brookton. Thanks again. You have no idea how much this means to me. Takes one more look at Sid, pinches the bridge of his nose, then walks back to his stall. Good luck out there. Need right. some fuel? Let's see about that fuel. Yeah, you know. Ooh, you got a Molotov cocktail, but so expensive. Your up's going nowhere without a can of this, mate. Um, uh, I got a couple of cans of that anyway, so now we're good. All right, good bye. And then let me check what she's got going on, just to be sure. Good day. Let me what see what I you got in stock. Right, med kit, large water bottle, camel milk. <laughs> Wow, fresh camel milk. Yeah, I'm straight on that. Can I sell for little scamps love to annoy their older siblings? I'm gonna hold on to this. The fact that it's got this gold around it makes me feel like it's a uh, it's a quest item, even though that I'm might not be time. true. All right. 
Now, let me save here. And before we move on, uh, let me look at these question marks, Why, uh, these exclamation points, rather. Why do I have... Okay, now that exclamation point is gone. Uh, Sit this on to that. Check up. Yep. Okay, we're good on that. So there's encyclopedia here. Oh, slang, which it notes in the um, active ventures, completed ventures. Oh, so some, there is somebody who wants that. Okay, so definitely don't sell it. Don't sell it. Okay, cool. So even worse. The booty, oh, yeah, yeah, I saw. He got out. He got out a few years ago, and he was pissed at the way people had been talking about him. He was like, people that gave me a raw deal. I'm not really like that. And I'm like, bruh, bruh, come on now. <laughs> hey, you really can't do satire anymore nowadays. <laughs> also, I have the best intro song on the stone that the builder refused. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Good stuff. All right. I have not used much, oh, you know what? Intelligence affects action points as well as intimidation. I could definitely use some more action points. I wish it had a marker here that kind of explained how putting points into your attributes affects things the way it does down here. Like here it says, okay, you get to 25, you get to 50, this is what happens. But if you click on this, it's just sitting there. It doesn't really tell you anything. And then it says wisdom, 21. Uh, I don't know what this means. It's fine. All right, fine. Uh, we did that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So this is, this is movement points. Oh, this is action points. Wait, wait, wait. I put a point here, and it gave me another action point. So now I've got five. All right. Used to perform tasks in combat based on agility and intelligence. Excellent. All right. And then... Um, uh here leadership what 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 happens at 50 um when this character ends their turn all allies within three meters gain the inspire condition granting them plus three initiative for their next turn that's interesting so how does initiative work though that is so weird to me I need to look at those mechanics more, but all right. Uh, and then Punt will take the rest. Focusing on those two for now. Confirm. And that's it, right? That is it. Level two. All right. And, whoops. No, I don't want, I don't want that to be active. That's fine. Let me. Uh, I want all of them. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's do that. Um, I am the spark that makes your idea bright. Mm-hmm. Tom, take care, man. Glad you're able to join the stream. Have a good one. Never seen the boot now, so I've heard great things. Highly recommended, abandonment. Highly recommended. Sloan, what's going on, dude? How are you? Oh, it's a big stream today. You know, I never look at the numbers, so I have no idea how many people are watching. <laughs> just want to stop it and say hi. Power of the arena is it and off at the tornado. Yep, no problem, Sloan. Take care, get some rest. Have a good one. We'll so the say though, if you all are enjoying the stream, I would definitely appreciate it if you hit the like button. Definitely helps out the channel. If you're new here, you haven't subscribed yet, highly recommend you subscribe. We play games like this all the time. I focus on CRPGs, and as you can see, I got no problem with narrative-driven games where there's a whole lot of uh verbiage and dialogue. So if that kind of content interests you, join up. So you won't miss any content. We'll take you to Brookton when you're ready to go. It's always pays to travel and pass. Have a good trip, Chuck. I'll see you tonight. What can you tell me about Coca Bean? The food here is atrocious. I heard that. <laughs> he grins. Just kidding. Tina can grill a roux steak like nobody's business. What else do you want to know? You and Tina seem to get on. I've known her since before she could walk. You've never seen a baby so quick to grab hold of anything shiny. That's when I knew she was going to be all right. Do you know what happened to Tina's brother, Noah? Not that I'm willing to tell a damn near stranger. He gives you a look. Anything I knew, go to Tina first anyway. Don't go meddling in family affairs. General life advice. Who's the solar panel guy? Mr. Blue Flannel? He peers at him across the distance, then shakes his head. I know just about everyone, but him, he's new. Probably won't last long. 
barter crew. What can you tell me about Frida? Good sort, that one. She and I go way back. Haven't seen her in bloody ages, of course, but she still holds the record for most goods hauled through Brookton. Hell on wheels if she gets a fire in her. Oi, don't go telling all my secrets to my new protege, Mick Jones. Her tone is harsh, but her eyes dance with laughter. The stories I could tell you about him would curl your toes and your pews if they're not already. Ha 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 ha! Wow! <laughs> go on. I could use a new look down there, like a haircut. <laughs> Frida burst out laughing at the look on Mick's face. Old Mick speechless? Never thought I'd see the day. She grins at me. I don't hold truck with this kind of vulgarity, I'll have you know. Frida laughs again and a smile tugs at his lips. It's good to have you back, girl. That mercenary is a real ray of fucking sunshine. Dead-Eyed Mason, he guffaws. Ask about him and Meredith. Guy's a bloody legend in his own lunch bouts. Hmm. Give me some info on the young kid with all the fuel. Damo's a good bloke, trying to do right by his dad. God rest his soul. Watch out for Sid, though. He's mean as cat piss. That's all for now. You got it. You planning to stay long? Nope. Heading back to Brooklyn as soon as we finish up. I, I have a lot more guns if we were staying out overnight. Want to trade? Everything we brought is spoken for, but there was plenty of other options in Brooklyn. Hmm. Yes, Mortismo and another reviewer finished the game in under 10 hours. Devs claim it should take 25 hours. Huh. Well, I'm probably not a good barometer because y'all see I'm reading all the dialogue. They're probably skipping through the dialogue, so... That's probably why uh, it's going to take them shorter. It's probably not going to be just uh, 10 hours for us, but hopefully it's not 25 either. We'll see. <laughs> we'll find out. I'm all done here. We're ready to go back to Brookton. Glad to hear. Come on then, Jess. Don, Bob, he clicks his tongue at the camels. I'll take good care of them. Don't you worry, Frida. You will if you know what's good for you, Mick Jones. She winks at you. Have a good trip, Chook. I'll see you tonight. He grunts and strokes his chin, considering Need to make sure we're all squared up with Tina before we roll out. He calls loudly towards the diminutive traitor. Oh, you good, oh, you no good swindler. We're going to get moving. Any last duva lackeys you want to force into my pockets before we call it quits? <laughs> get food. Thanks for the $5 donation, man. Thanks for all you do, brother. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for the support. Give me one second, y'all. Let me uh, bring my desk down. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, the last few months, it doesn't just go down straight the way it's supposed to. But you know, I wanted to stand in death, so you gotta take the sacrifices where you have to. Do -do 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 ah, there we go. Much better. Much better. More likes than our peace watch. Great sign. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Appreciate it, you all. She cocks her hand on her hips and stares him right in the eye. I don't know, mate. It's been a long day. Not sure I have the energy to haggle with a stubborn old mule. He fiends outrage. Why, you cheeky ankle biter. I oughta. He starts chuckling. <laughs> right then. We're on the road. We'll see you in a bit, eh? He gestures at you to follow. Come on. The sooner we're back to town, the sooner you can buy me a beer. Head to Brookton. It's not always the same thing to be a good man and a good citizen. Aristotle. Hmm. Uh, opinions on the game after an hour. Uh, so far, so good. Um, combat has been a drag, but that's because I went I went all in on charisma. So I have horrible combat skills. So I'll be able to give you a better idea of what combat is like once I get into it with some party members. But so far, I have no complaints about the game. It's not like crazy awesome to me yet. Uh, it's just cool right now, but there's still the opportunity for it to be more. We'll see. How are you, brother? All right. Go kick the dust off your boots. It'll take us a while to get our goods unpacked. He nods towards a nearby building with a veranda. Pub's there if you want to wet your whistle. You did okay out there, kid. He gives you a lopsided smile. Welcome to Brooktown. All right. S see you around. Damn, they ran off immediately. The apostrophe in Bob's has been scratched out and repainted so many times there's now a permanent gouge in the wood. War never changes. Yo! 
I like that. Okay, so it's going to have some nice little Easter eggs for us. Okay. Oh, wait. Did we, we came in up here. So let me start up here then. War never changes. One of my favorite taglines for any game ever. Like, just such incredible marketing. And that does nothing. That does nothing. So weird that they have these question marks that do nothing. Jobs around the station. Get your supplies here. Oh, okay. You actually talk. Oh, and you got a grenade. Look at you. You got a grenade. I feel like I should probably sell some of this. I definitely don't want to use this, so I'll let that go. Um, I've got a rifle. If I've got a rifle, do I really need a pistol? Wait. Fits snug in anyone's hand. Works best in close quarters combat. Oh, so I could have rifle in one hand. This in the other hand, that kind of makes sense. So you know, and I'll keep, I'll keep that. But this, I probably wanna, I wanna let that go. I'm, I'm a all guns kind of guy. Um, yeah. So this is what I have. Okay. So I'm using a shotgun right now. Um, spread. Don't say it with this walker at the shotgun. Actually, now I think about it, shotgun's probably good up close anyway. Hmm. All right. We'll just. We'll do that for now. Confirm and then let that go. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying the game, GM, for sure. I feel like this dev team is a very bright future. I feel like this game uh, with the just good, but the potential for the devs to be considered great. Exactly, exactly. Like, it's honestly rare for devs to just knock it out the park on their first game. So as long as this game is solid, I got high hopes. I, I, I really appreciate narrative-driven games, so I'm hoping that this ends up being good. Ford never changed. Yeah. Follow for Navy. Got you, Rose. Take me home. <laughs> Place I belong. Um, what's going on? Paintbrush. That's interesting. Painted paintbrush. Turpentine. Okay. Pens and pencils. Hmm. Interesting. Let me talk to Nick. Hello again. What's the good word? Is this your base of operations? Brooklyn's where I lay my head, yeah. It's got everything a man can want, or well, expect anyway. What's there to do around here? There's a clinic if you're sick, cricket pitch if you're keen, chickens and plants to look after if you're the hands-on type. Might take a while for people to warm up to you, but stick around long enough and they'll bring you into the fold. You open for business? Afraid not, but feel free to take a look in the marketplace. Lots of great deals to be had. Bye. As you approach, he gives you a warm, beaming smile. Good day. No around here, hey? How's it going, buddy? Who are you? I'm Bruce. Bruce Harris. Sell a bit of this and a bit of that. Mostly clean water, some fresh produce. Have a look. Where does your water come from? I know a guy. He smiles widely again, almost laughing as he answers. Can't be giving away my secrets, man. Where did you come in from? I was in Alderside yesterday. Brief stop in Ardath before that. Just doing the rounds the Deweys and other warden merchants might have missed. What are Deweys? Oh, you know, dew farmers. Glad they're helping with the water shortage, even if it is a bit of competition. Low, lot of need out there at the moment. You didn't really say where you were from. Oh, some ways east of here. Few days hike. Little place off the main tracks. No, where specifically are you from? Jeez, persistent, aren't you? His smile fades for the first time but he still has the same warmth about him as he speaks. I'd have said where if I were keen for you to know. A lot of us blow in here, do some trade, and then blow out again. I got mouths to feed back home that rely on home staying off the maps. Let me see what you have for sale. <laughs> Interesting. Utilitarianism. Society between equals can only exist on the understanding that the interests of all are to be regarded equally. Fine pitch. Ooh, lockpicks. Ross can't find your key. Did I didn't see lockpicking anywhere. I wonder if that was a skill that I missed. Glasses blanks. Can't shoot <laughs> with these. Interesting. Water bottle, water bottle, milk, and med kit. Okay, interesting. RM, what's going on? Does this game have companions or is it like Wasteland? It does have companions. Uh, how's the game so far? What's going on, Orchard? It's going well so far. I got no complaints. Like, Outcast's first game wasn't my type at all, even after the bugs were sorted. I didn't really enjoy it, but it got my eyes on the devs. Then Wrath of the Righteous killed it. Yeah, see, I like Kingmaker quite a bit, 
but I also understand it's not going to be everybody's uh, cup of tea because there are definitely issues uh, with that game. So I completely understand what you're saying. Uh, oh, that's the paintbrush guy. While not the trading hub that Kokobi is, Brockton has enough wares to cater for its own. Oh, what's all this? I'm missing a whole section. Hold on. If you're not in the barter crew, the life of a traveling merchant is usually a solitary one. Those who find someone to travel with are a lucky lot. Oh, kids. So this game has kids. That's interesting. I don't know anything about that, Queen. Going back to Tyranny eventually? Yep, as soon as I finish this. As soon as I finish this, we'll be going right back to Tyranny for sure. Uh, that looks like water and scraps. I'll take all that. Must be nice to get on to get on the beards without fear of being classed. <laughs> At the end of the epilogue, she does. Oh, okay. See, I've, I haven't seen any of the epilogues. I stopped playing Baldur's Gate 3 before the epilogues come out. So that's one of the reasons I want to get back into it, honestly, because I want to uh, see some of that content that I haven't gotten a chance to uh, get into yet. Wow, somebody left a pistol in there? Just in a random container? That's crazy. The vibe kind of reminds me of early uh, Fallout games. Yep, it would have been a wasteland, but warmer. Oh, if you keep the gift egg. If you keep the gift egg, she gets a son? Whoa, all right. I didn't, damn, I didn't realize that. Albany, Giggin, uh, Taylor's Farm. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna have to do that ending. Have to, have to do that ending. Crazy. All right, let's go ahead and do a save here. And, okay, that's the pub. I'm trying to make sure that I don't um, move the story forward too quickly because I want to make sure I do all my side quest. Stop in and check this one out. Gonna lurk and watch Fallout Show. Yeah, I heard the Fallout Show is good. I'm looking forward to seeing it myself. The real outback of Australia. <laughs> Staff only? More like Sally only. <laughs> Nothing sadder than a dead soldier. A faded article about the Don, including his batting average. It would probably be really impressive if anyone knew the rules anymore. So for those who know baseball, who's the Don? Nostalgia puts the good in the good old days. What can I get you? Her calloused hand is knotted around an old rag as she wipes the shining bar top free of spills. She flashes you a quick smile. First drink's free if you promise to buy three more. <laughs> of course, I'm not officially open yet, but the offer stands for when I am. Anything I can do for you in the meantime? Frida said, asked me to say hi. She blinks in surprise. Glad to hear the old birds back in the saddle. First beer's on me, but it doesn't count towards the one you have to buy. <laughs> she waggles her finger at you, mock sternly. Come back when I'm open for business, and I'll give you the goods. In the meantime, anything else I can do for you, friend of my friend? How'd you get run into running a pub? She hoists her right leg up on the bench and wraps on her shin with her knuckles. Wasn't much good to the crew once blood poisoning took me leg. Couldn't walk so far anymore. Yikes. She puts her leg back down and gives the bench a wipe for good measure. Of course, losing me leg hasn't dulled me trading instincts at all. I still drive a mean bargain. Want to try your luck, pup? She winks and jingles the dollar coins in her pocket. Just so you know, she says, holding up her hand. I have a discount for newbies, too. Don't get many repeat customers if they die out in the desert. What's your leg made of? It's good, it's good hardwood. Better than metal, but hard to find. Reckon this one's got a few years left in her. After that, I'll be up in the creek. She shrugs and smiles. But that's future Sally's problem. Anything interesting going on in town? Let's see. She polishes the bar idly as she thinks. Vic and Eastie got in another fight. Didn't break his jaw this time, but Sarah still gave him a good chewing out. Go on. Ryle got Vicky's knickers in a knot over some loan he owed her. So she sheared his sheep in the middle of the night and left them standing butt naked in the run. Poor bastard's got a bad case of sunburn. Wow. <laughs> what else? Esther and Rowan got back together, and word is she's up the duff. She'll have to go to Meriden for the birth, though. Sarah's bedside manner is pretty terrible. 
told her last time if she had any more sprogs, she'd tie her tubes while she was unconscious. <laughs> more. I need more. Easy, Tiger. That's about it, I reckon. She scratches the side of her nose. Not a lot going on around here, as you can see. Let's trade. <laughs> wow. Well, I definitely want that. Whatever this is. I always give the uh, get back to smart people. Never seen to find them in Act 3, though. <laughs> uh, uh, Fallout is on Prime. If you give it, oh, son, she says she, he could be whatever he wants, and she would still love to support him. Wow, that's crazy. Don't let find house with eggshells and blood stains. Miss Fuzzy been out. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Proud of the dog. That is that sound good. Might be the first prime series to be good. No, come on now. There's uh the boys. The boys is amazing. All right, make a deal. Confirm. There we go. And she shakes her head. Never knew why I kept the bloody thing after everything I went through to get it. Still, maybe it'll bring someone happier memories than it does me. Uh, maybe she's talking about the quest item thing that I just got. Okay. Oh, wait. There's some uh, loot here. What's this about? Oh, water? Small, empty, large, empty. Are they going to ever give me a place to get water? And is there a weight limit? Seems like no, right? I can put as much stuff in here as I want to, I think. And let's see. Range. Base damage. Range 0 to 9. What is this? Zero to ten. Optimal range one to six. Optimal range one to six. So these two have the same range, have the same optimal range. So I might as well sell them. So what I need then is a long range option. What are these? What are, what are what's supposed to go in those slots? Large empty no. Useful rags. These can be used. Oh, these can be cleaned up into bandages or used as is to restore five HP and remove bleeding. Can you combine them? I wonder. Small water bottle. Uh, we're not going to do it now. I, I assume sooner or later we're going to find a source of water that we can use to fill up these water bottles. The boys. Invincible. Yep. And I even like Gen Z, to be honest with you. Disappointed you aren't doing a terrible Aussie accent. You know, I gave it. I considered doing that. But I don't want to be disrespectful to the culture, and I know my Aussie accent is terrible. So I, I'd have no problems doing a terrible Aussie accent, a, accent in a game that wasn't based in Australia. With this one, I, I'm, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> I'm going to let it go. Um, well, yeah, I got Amazon Prime, so I might as well watch the video stuff, Gifu. Feel like Lazo went from generic. Uh, her, her character arc is fantastic. Her character arc is absolutely fantastic. Now, it's funny. I, I removed cable, yeah, but I kept the uh, prime. And I cannot click on the cat even though it has the question mark there. Make sure there's none down over here. Let's just go all the way down over here and see what, what's the deal. Stuff to loot, it seems. Hmm, seems like there's three markers here and I can't click on any one. Okay, I can click on that. This is meat and potatoes. Hey, look at that. The spice of life. But not these two. It doesn't allow me to click on those two. All right. And now we're at the border. Come on now. We're at the border and now we'll head back up. Stranger there. Sarah's ambulance. It can't quite, quite, it can't clock quite as many miles as it once did, but it still has uses. Stranger. Hey, the blood spattered raider. Raider surges to his feet as you approach, gripping the chain link of his cage. Oh, he's in the cage. Oh, I thought he was standing outside of the cage. Hey, 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 hey. Strong fella. He smiles, showing dark gaps where his teeth used to be. Muscly man, striding Adonis, dispenser of justice and mercy. Get me out of this cage, hmm? He tilts his head to the side and gives you puppy dog eyes, complete with pathetic whimpers and useless pawing at the sides of the cage. Why should I help you? Why shouldn't you? His retort comes quickly, like the crack of a whip. Don't you care about justice? Who put you in here? 
military gray Barbie. He lifts his hand above his head, estimating height. But she's not the decision maker. That'd be old gut wound. He grins, slicing across his ab abdomen with his thumb. Who's gut wound? Goes by another name now, does he? That's right, that's right. He stares off to the distance towards the marketplace. He breathes the words so, so low you almost miss them. Mick Jones. Why do you call Mick gut wound? It's what he called himself. You should ask him. You'll be in for a bloody good time. <laughs> he grins. The sight is not pleasant. What will you give me to let you out? Extortion is a dangerous game, friend. He brings the word as if fog in a pane of glass. He watches you with beady eyes. I'll tell you a secret. Or I'll fight you. Dealer's choice. He grins. What'll it be? Tell me a secret. He wags his finger at you like a disapproving teacher. No key, no no key. You gotta give love to get some. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting long. Interesting. All right. Yeah, all stressed. They don't have a culture preposterous. <laughs> wow. Come on now. I haven't seen Invincible Season 2 yet. Uh, but uh, you enjoyed it, Elric? Uh, That's again? good to know. What's a good word? Oh, Invincible is adult. It's 100% adult. And you'll recognize it as adult very, very quickly. Absolutely check it out. It's made for adults. Yep. I, like Elric said, just watch episode one. You'll see. You instantly atrophy enemies with your underwear with your illithid powers by draining strength. <laughs> wow. The bones that weird fungus underneath their floorboards. Wow. <laughs> what is it with y'all in Australian culture? Um, why did they used to call you gut wound? His face goes incredibly still. Where did you hear that name? Dead Ringer said it, but he didn't say why. That filthy mongrel. His voice is low and guttural. Don't you ever utter those words again. You hear me? He doesn't wait for your reply. Damn! That's it. I want to let Dead Ringer out of his cage. What makes you think I'm interested in your opinion of how I run my town? He gives you a quick once-over, affecting boredom. Ooh, leadership counts in conversation. Whoa! I've dealt with men like him before. I know what I'm doing. Leadership success, seen it all, have you, at your sweet age? But something about you clearly hits the mark. He unhooks a key from his hip and tosses it to you. I'll be keeping an eye on both of you. No funny business, or I'll lock you in there with him. Huh. All right. This should be interesting. I feel like I should do the other things in town before I free him. So we're going to we're going to do some other stuff and then circle back. It's a 10 out of 10 show for you. Oh wow, that's crazy. Us New Zealanders, we got culture. <laughs> nice. Large empty water bottle again. I gave it a 9 out of 10 personally since a long way was a terrible idea. Uh, did they have a choice? Chick, 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 chicken. Lay a little egg for me. Dirt around town is dry and thin, but here it's good, rich soil to dig your fingers into. No easy feat to grow veggies this bright, vibrant. Someone's put a lot of time into them. New in town? She puts down her hoe and pulls off her heavy gardening gloves, wiping her hands on her pants before shaking yours. It's always a pleasure to see a fresh face. Hope you might stay for a while. From the looks of you, though, you'll only be here long enough to pick up some new wares. She nods her head towards a basket near the chicken run. I may have some things you're interested in, if those hands of yours are as gentle as they look. Who are you? I'm Elena, Jess's mom. She used the back of her hand to brush a sweaty strand of hair away from her face. What do you do here? A gardener, chicken wrangler, occasional butcher, anything to do with food that's not actually cooking it, I'm your lady. On the other hand, I make a mean lamington. What's a lamington? She looks a little flustered. You don't. Oh, she thinks for a moment. Vanilla sponge cake dipped in a chocolate icing mix, then rolled in a desiccated coconut. Bit of a delicacy these days, though the coconut's easy enough to come by. Mmm, that does sound delicious. She gives a small smile. No one really went for handfuls of dried plant fiber, even when they were starving after the big drop. She grows stern. 
Only monsters put jam and cream inside them, though. A good sponge can stand on its own moist legs, but it'll collapse under the extra weight and turn into a slurry at the slightest provocation. Got anything for sale? Ooh. Straubs are Dad's favorite. He'll be keen to add a new variety to his patch. Only a green thumb could keep this alive. Aust Australop chicken eggs. Mom always wanted to raise blue chickens. They'll be the talk of Estonia when I bring them home. Okay. Make a deal. I'm glad I didn't sell a bunch of my money, but you know, we can give her these guns, though. Definitely don't need those. And, yep. Make it a deal. Boy. Value 10 and 46. Okay, cool. Yep, confirm. And bam. That'll do you. She reaches into our pocket and tosses out some grain for the chickens. Make sure you treat them right. Good hands are hard to come by. And don't let the strawberry plant get sunburned. <laughs> Try three hours of pillars of eternity, too, and turn base of another three. And wow, real time with Paul is so much better. Yeah, it's built from the ground up to be real time with Paul's. Anyone actually watch the new Space Jam with Brom? And was it as dog shit as I heard? I did not. I'm actually a big LeBron fan. I have a lot of respect for him. But Space, I don't understand why he decided to do Space Jam. I thought that was a terrible idea. Make your own stuff. A small red flower that could be used up in cooking concoctions. Okay. Make your own stuff, dude. Do not. Everybody keeps telling you you don't compare to Michael Jordan. Right? Why would you purposefully put yourself in Michael Jordan's shadow? Not many people own a home these days. Keeping your garden up to snuff can make the troubles of the world a little bit more bearable. You could have made another animated movie about a basketball player and just not called it Space Jam. Liquid gold kept close at hand for thirsty plants. Hasn't rained to fill them up in ages, though. Um, like, I thought that was just a terrible move on his behalf. And it won't let me get any higher. Okay, fine. Uh, I thought that was a terrible move that really didn't make sense. And I, I was disappointed to see him do it. And it made me not want to not wanna bother with it. When the cities collapsed, people brought what they could carry to barter for safe passage. Now with more time, more, more and more towns are coming to the desert, places like Brookton have got a surplus. Lo, he keeps watching our horizon, occasionally glancing down to check if you're still here. Who are you? Name's Dane. I watch the flocks by night. Real biblical. <laughs> what are you doing? Watching the flocks. Though I tell you, if they'd had me here this morning, he looks over the edge of the watchtower, meeting your eyes. Those raiders would have never got off with a single sheep. I told Sarah I'm fine to sleep up here, but many said, but she said she wouldn't have it, that a bed is the only proper place to rest. Well, you tell me. How many raiders you think would have gotten away if I'd been on watch? Zero. Damn straight. He looks over the side at you again and cracks a smile. He returns his gaze to the horizon. You're all right, kid. He absently pats his rifle. You're all right. Ha, 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 wow. Kane, what's going on? Yeah, supposedly he's got a lot of replay value. We'll see. Damas, what's up, man? How are you? I didn't even notice you had joined in. LeBron could have made Lair Bud, whatever, whatever. Just one new movie IPs that are good. How, did any of you watch the trailer for Joker 2? How do you all feel about that? And for the same reason Trump was in Home Alone, needs extra fame for his 2040 presidential run. Ha 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 ha, wow. <laughs> 3 1 Lee versus Gold State was a godly feat. Absolutely. From a basketball standpoint, I think he's incredibly over underrated. Incredibly underrated. Who here will try Star Wars Outlaws? But I'm a content creator, you know, so I gotta play stuff even if I think it might be trash. Anytime the magnifying glasses are grouped like this, it seems like they don't work properly. I don't know what's up with that. Good to see you again. What can I do for you? What's there to do around here? Drink and shoot the shit? She gives you a faint smile. Most people don't stay long. They come to the big smoke for one reason or another, then they go on with their lives. Those who do stay tend to have families, though. She falls quiet. What do you do with your camels when you're not traveling? Bob and Don hang out at Taylor's farm with the other camels and sheep. I think they like the company. Good one. 
Okay, and I could go out that way if I wanted to. All right, now I'm just back here. The trailer that Mix Crew used on their barter runs to Coca Bee. Well, I think there was one that I didn't get to. That was all the way back here. Also got to represent this stream. Had work right now, but looking forward to trying the game this weekend. Awesome. I hope you enjoy it, dude. Man's greatest fear is the unknown. Crow's greatest fear is the cat. <laughs> Friends and allies, lend me your ears. Wow. <laughs> People are bloody legends. All right. We got through all the upper area, right? Okay, cool. So it's only this lower area now that we need to do. I wonder, oh, at the clinic, right? Okay. And useful rags, a bunch of water. I wonder how you're supposed to purify the rags. How does that work? Build the girl the boy. Go on, hit us a six. The football is slightly soft, having received a few too many punts across the lawn. It's been lying in the sun for quite some time. The upper portion blazing hot. The underside cool and clammy. Oi, mister, chuck it here. Yeah, peg it, peg it hard. The children clearly want you to throw the ball back to them. The misshapen lump looks decidedly unaerodynamic. <laughs> oh, you can add a punt to it. While the throwing average, throw the ball back over arm. Throwing easy, toss the ball back under arm. Here, kick the ball back to them. Put the ball in your backpack. Oh, that, that'd be terrible. We're not going to do that. Uh, easy. Throw the ball back on the arm. <laughs> oh, well. Could add a punt to it. Throw it, fell. You lob the ball towards the fence. It falls short and rolls to a stop just out of reach. What, you're too weak to kick it back? You got noodles for legs? Ah, damn. Oh, now they call me noodles. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not, we're not accepting that. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> we're not accepting that. Did I already talk to you? Yep. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yep. Yeah, clicked on that. That stuff up there doesn't matter. I'm sure. Oh wait, no, I came I came from around over here. They said there was something to loot here too, right? Yep, there was one thing to loot. Let's take all that. Yep. Okay, now we're back over here. Hit that. Hit us a six. Nothing to do there. Alright, now we're back at the football. We'll do a quick save there. Now let's click here. Service and Mass Effect 2 and 3. I, I feel like it's kind of weird how they how they kinda seem to make them differ from Mass Effect 1. But it, it's still interesting, though, to be saying they don't want to play Star Wars Outlaws because it has a female lead. Really? That's fascinating. So people will complain about anything. All right. Um, let's use a punt. Might as well go ahead and try this. All right. Average. Kick the ball back to them. Oh. So I still fail. Oh, wait, no, I got it to him. Oh, nice. I was about to say. <laughs> Punt success. Your perfect kick bounces the football off the side of the schoolhouse before it rolls to a stop at Mel's feet. You can see her grin from here. Even my dad couldn't do better. She holds up the football for all the kids to see, then throws it as hard as she can at Davy's face before running away. Tag, you're it. Christ. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ah, kids. All right. Did that. Come through here. What's this? I'm not. This, is this a. Uh, there was a magnifying glass there, but now it's gone. Okay. I'm going to talk to you. The gangling young man hurriedly wipes his hand on his coverall when he sees you. His carrot orange hair flops over his eyes as he gives you a broad grin. Who are you then? Barter crew. Barter crew from up Westonia way. Barter crew? He looks behind you. Crew of one? He shrugs and smiles. 
not the strangest thing I've heard. Hey, let me know if you come across any scrap, especially radios. Rare as hen's teeth out here. Anyway, welcome to Brookton. I'm not the official welcoming committee or anything. I don't think there is one. I'll ask Mick, but I'm just some guy who talks a lot. So I've been told. What do you do? Mechanic, sort of. I like to fix machines and take them apart, then fix them again. It's kind of a never-ending cycle around here. <laughs> How much of your time do you spend in Brookton? A lot. Most of it, I guess. There's usually a job somewhere around. I mean, I was in Beverly a few weeks ago on Alderside, I think last month. But often I sit at the hall and work on stuff there. Mad says there are days on end where I don't talk. Says it's fucking delightful. I think she thinks I talk too much. <laughs> Got any news for me? News? He taps his chin, thinking. It's Echina breeding season, so keep an eye out for trains crossing the roads. Oh, that's not news. That's a fact. Sorry. <laughs> What's there to do around here? Well, traders are always coming through. Help out at the clinic or the farm if you got the know-how. Pub's pretty popular, of course. Lots of stuff. There's the guy in the cage if you like a little extra crazy in your day. Try to take on our barter crew, but that didn't really work out for him. Need anything? Mate, have you ever had fizzy water? His eyes light up. I had some at a pub once. I spent ages trying to get the nozzle right, but then I couldn't find a small enough air compressor. I'm pretty sure Mad's still angry I covered her in sugar syrup. Said it made the flies a hundred times worse. I attracted Laura Keats too, but... <laughs> Interesting. Baldrin, what's going on, dude? How are you? He had a blast of two games. When you kill robot dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm one of those people that will have given the chance to uh, play with girl characters. Anytime I play in an RPG, I play with the men and the women because I want to see all the content. Last 40 minutes before I just start sp skipping cutscenes. <laughs> and one left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, is it because of the cat? The cat is what's leaving the question marks. <coughs> there are question marks following the cat, but I don't know why. Nothing's actually going on with the cat, and it won't let me click anything there so far. And yep, that's just about everything in back here. Let's just check down here real quick. Nobody in the watchtower. Nothing over there, nothing over here. None but those kangaroos. Okay, cool. Let's play anything. Alloy, 17, 18, no? Who is Alloy? Oh, is Alloy the main character in Horizon Zero Dawn? I'm gonna go with Engineer or Soldier in my new Mass Effect 2 run. Which one did you do on the first one? That's uh, one of the reasons I love Dragon's Dogma. It knows the combat is a selling point in the game. It's like the devs didn't realize that you're going to get people who just want to fight dinosaurs. <laughs> well, they're trying to satisfy all crowds because you can still just skip the dialogue you don't want to see. So it, it does end up satisfying everybody at the end of the day. Hello, can I help you? She puts down the rag she's tearing to make bandages and gives you her full attention. Who are you? Sarah Taylor, my husband and son run the farm outside of town. What do you do? Town doctor, mostly I dispense pain relief and a dose of reality for people who forget what really matters. <laughs> who are those bandages for? Whoever needs them, she passed the pile of unwound, unwound scraps. What's important is they've lain in the sun and then been boiled, so they won't get anything nasty in a wound when it comes time to wrap it. Hmm, got any news for me? Nothing you couldn't get from other people with more time on their hands. Need anything? A full surgical suite. Her expression doesn't change, but she glances at you before continuing. For real though, distilled water is always in high demand. Woody pear, merry tree sap, lemongrass shoots, the usual. How'd you end up in Brookton? 
Was it the accent that gave me away? If she has one, it's imperceptible. I moved here after I met John, and when we had Sean, it made sense to stay somewhere safe. She looks at the walls with unexpected fondness. Brookton served us well so far. I've brought your distilled water delivery. Frida sent you, did she? She gazed at you for a moment, then sighs. You're very sweet. I wanted her to come and see me herself. I thought if she came here, it might help Sean. She drums her fingers on the table. Well, it can't be helped. Did she at least give you the radio? Yes. She takes the radio and presses the talk button a few times until she hears a squawk. F-bomb. This is Sashay. Over. There's a moment of scrabbling static. Then Frida's voice crackles through the dusty speaker. This is F- I mean, Frida. I take it this means my delivery arrived on schedule. Chicken, are you there? <laughs> no chickens here. Only sheep and camels. There's a pause and then you're Frida laughing on the other end. Sarah cracks a small smile. You didn't tell me you were sending a comedian. I didn't know, but I'm glad the two of you are hitting it off. Sarah's an old friend of mine, Chuck. You could trust her with anything. Could you bring back bandages or maybe some iodine if Sarah can spare it? I won't have to send the next bloke with radiation burns and the runs all the way to see her if I could treat him here instead. I'll see what I can scrunch up. Sashay out. She rifles through a beaten brown leather bag on the ground and hands you a bottle of iodine and some bandages. Here, that ought to do her for a while. I'd like to see what you have in stock. Mm, turpentine. Iodine, man, but I just got some, so I'm good on that. I got some soap. I got plenty of bandages, too, so I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. There was a 40 minute, 40 plus minute cutscene, less than two hours into Forbidden Rest. What? <laughs> I had a refund. That's crazy. <laughs> Mm. What's a game you decided not to play because it had a male protagonist, Damas? I, I, I love PC gaming, but I also miss gaming on my couch with an Xbox controller sometimes. How Laws looks great, though. The Space Western and Underworld stuff. See... The, the, the trailers look great, but up to this point, we haven't really seen gameplay. So I'm still holding ju withholding judgment because I feel like uh, Ubisoft is real good to uh, to try to convince you something is, is great when in, in reality it's not. So I'm not a believer just yet, to be honest with you. All right. See what this guy's got to say. Come to help? He runs his fingers across the strands of wires of playing a harp. Or come to stare and do sweet fuck all. What will you do if I free you? He peers at you. Free? Nah, man. None of us are free. If we could do whatever we wanted, I'd be flying up there with the birds. He lets out a trilling whistle. A convincing facsimile of a local bird call. But getting out of this cage would be nice. Show him the key. Here. I'll let you out. I guess you'll want your payment now. He taps his chin with narrowed eyes, considering you. You have an asshole gut wound about me yet, or I'd have heard of it. Do me a favor and ask him after I'm gone, will you? His eyes sparkle with something that's not quite laughter. Something else then. He thinks a while longer, weighing his options or just testing your patience. Meriden, Angela, Pris, Laura Conroy. Connect the dots and you'll be on to a winner. Now, he steps back from the door of the cage, hands up. Work your magic. Unlock the cage. Now, nah, work your magic. The expression on his face doesn't change until you've unlocked the door. Then a feral smile slowly pulls his lips wide. Thanks, friend. He strolls out of the cage, whistling a jaunty tune. As he passes, he tries to knock you off balance, but fails. With shrug and a wink, he sprints off through the southern gate. Hmm. Catch you later, soft heart. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Jedi Survivor. <laughs> you know, it's funny you mentioned that one because that's a game where um, a lot of people were pissed off that it was a male guy. They're like, oh, man, it's this typical uh, uh, white guy. Why, why, when they have the opportunity, wouldn't they do something different? I remember that whole controversy about it.
Man, bro, I started my charity playthrough when you did. I already went through it tight twice. I was thinking, oh wow, <laughs> what kind of what were the two runs you did? I refused to buy another Ubisoft game. That launcher is one reason of many. Yeah, that launcher uh, um, is rough. Is rough. I agree, Valdron. I think Jedi Survivor does have a fantastic story. Xbox over P PlayStation P PC is because 360 is where I really got into gaming. Same with me, Elric. Same with me. In fact, if I didn't start a channel, I would have stuck with the Xbox. But when I started my channel, I was like, nah, I'm going to switch over to PC gaming. Yeah, I just don't care for the main dude. Got you. Third-party launches with mandatory account creation is disgusting to me. It's extremely annoying for sure. All done with your trades then, eh? He sized you up. You've got that good trade day glow about you. No hiding it. Now, I hear Westonians planning some kind of democracy. And I do politics best with a beer or two in my belly. Pub's right there. Excuse me. I just need a moment of your time. The speaker's a tall, broad-shouldered man. Well-groomed with a gold necklace and gold bracelet glistening in the sun. Despite his size, he moves with a fluid grace. He reminds you of nothing so much as a big cat. Attractive, smiling, and dangerous as hell. Remain silent. Spit it out, then. All the humor is gone from him, like he senses a threat. He's alert and focused, his eyes never leaving the newcomer. His voice is low and calm. My name is James Wakefield. I am glad to have met you, Mr. Jones, as I come bearing a proposition for you and your people. A proposition, he repeats flatly and dismissively. Better make it quick, mate. He holds out his hand. His, he holds his hands out, palms up. Let me be plain then. I come from a powerful community to the east. We're rebuilding civilization, and we'd like to invite Brookton to be a part of that effort. Join us and we can end the age of grubbing through the relics of the past. Join us, and we can usher in an age of miracles. His eyes narrow. You want us to bow and scrape to someone who's never even looked our way before, who never had the good grace to come and say hello himself? He spits to the side. Civilization, mm-hmm. And when do we get out of it, pray tell? Civilization will bring the rains, fill these fields with wheat again? What happens if we say no? Machiavellian. I'm intrigued. If there's a new power forming, it might be a good idea to pick a side. What do you reckon they could offer us? Fuck all, most likely. Otherwise, they'd have brought gifts to share their wealth and convince us, not just empty words. He stares at the stranger silently for a few seconds. We've got nothing but your word to go by, mate. Show us some of these miracles if you're so keen to bring us into the fold. He chuckles. Mr. Jones, I was sent merely to make the offer. I'm a messenger, not a diplomat. If it's pretty words you're after, you're not the man I thought you were. Well, mister, not a diplomat, why don't you piss off back home and tell your overlords that if they want us kissing their boots, they're going to have to prove their boots are worth the tongue. <laughs> wow, <laughs> never heard it said that way before. Till they can, answers a hard no. He takes the answer with equanimity. I must ask one more time. We can offer your people many things, food, water, protection, freedom from want or care, the future in its limitless possibilities, rather than scratching out a living on the edge of darkness. Maybe we like the darkness. <laughs> it is easier to hide one's indiscretions beyond the glow of lamplight, even to convince yourself that they're necessary. You seem to know a lot about us for someone we've never met before. Hmm, he gives you a small smile. Perhaps if your companions showed as much introspection, they wouldn't have been so quick to resort to aggression. What? His voice has descended to a low growl. Mate, you're about to get boot polished where the sun don't shine if you don't take a hint and rack off. No need to be rude. His tone is mild. You've made your choice clear. My duty was to ask, and so I have done. Be assured that I shall sleep soundly tonight, and good evening to you all. Uh-oh, this is going to be a problem. I play Siege of Foreign almost daily. I'd never buy a Ubisoft game. <laughs> it's good as you did Rainbow Six Alpha Packs ruined that game. Mm. 
Hamlet, what's going on? How are you? Yes, I belong. <laughs> West Australia. <laughs> nice. Now, as long as they're entirely for cosmetics. Mm-hmm. That's some great writing. I love how brutal you can be. Me too. I'm enjoying that aspect of it thus far. He stares at the Wakefield, thoughtful. Tomorrow we can send someone to follow his tracks and find out where it came from. We'll get to the bottom of this. Uh, tomorrow's probably gonna be too Oh, much. I'm gonna need a beer or five after that ordeal. All right, head to the pub and get, you, and get your beers on. This rangy woman's face is careworn, her skin toughened by the harsh Australian sun. Her clothes are perfect for stalking the bush and her gun's grip is polished by years of use. She spares you a quick assessing glance and carries on with her conversation. Ella, Mishti, if you're not going in for a pint, then stop blocking the door. Let's land it through, yeah? Good day, dreamer. <sighs> Been a hell of a day, yeah? Gotta head back and spell mad. She'll have gotten pissy sitting up in that nest by a lonesome for hours. I hear my daughter crying. Give me one minute.
Sorry, my daughter's sick and having a rough time. Five more minutes. All right, somebody's not feeling well tonight. <laughs> Appreciate you all, thank you. <laughs> oh, damn, I missed Kit. What's going on, Kit? Sorry I missed you. Hope you have a good night. People 
on stream complaining about the, the story driven people on stream are complaining about the story. Mm, all right, we'll see. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Where were we? She's treasuring young. Been a hell of a day, yeah? Gotta head back and spell mad. She'll have gotten pissy sitting up in that nest by her lonesome for hours. Yeah, my uh, daughter's screaming because she's not feeling well, so. I gave her some cough medicine. I gave her some water. Snuggle with her. She got nice and sleepy. Hopefully, she'll be all right. If she starts screaming again, I might have to go ahead and stop the stream and lay with her. We'll see. See how it goes. The young woman is dressed similarly, though her clothes are newer and cleaner, and her weapon isn't nearly as warm. She has a pleasant smile and friendly eyes, but there's an underlying frustration to her movements. She nods, slapping dust off her trousers. She seems unable to give her companion her full attention. Oh, uh, uh, I was actually planning to head to the pub. Like you said, it's been a hell of a day. Pub o'clock, yeah? <laughs> I'm parched. I hope <laughs> we'll see you in there. Don't be a bloody idiot. If you're having a night at the arms, we're taking the truck. You can walk back home. Ripper. Strong expression of delight, approval, or excitement. Really? Ripper? <laughs> See you in the morning, L. He nods to all of you as he and Jonesy head for the pub door. Bit of a hike to volleyball, isn't it? It'll do them good. They can walk off the hangover. She turns her gaze back to the younger woman. Right, Misty, let's pack it in. We've got a free ride home, and, like I said, Matt will be getting pissy about being left out of all the action. To be fair, I thought the day would be less eventful. But yeah, time to go. She sighs unhappily and steel creeps into her eye. Look, Ella, here's some facts you may have conveniently forgotten. She holds up three fingers on her right hand. One, this may surprise you, but you're not my mom. She takes off her ring finger and touches her index finger. Two, I'm an adult and capable of making my own decisions. Tonight, I choose to hit the pub. She folds down her index fingers and glances at the remaining middle finger. And hey, there's point three. Listen, my mind's made up. I'm having a few drinks and I plan to get wasted. Cut me some slack. And mate, we saved that boy at Key Road today. Can you understand that? We saved an innocent life. That's worth a fucking beer, in my opinion. <laughs> Sleep is the best help. Exactly, exactly. I just wanted to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> and you know what? We brought a sick man to Brookton today without thought of reward. It's the kind of thing that gives me hope for humanity. So we saved two people, two beers. <laughs> Ella looks like she's about to talk, but Misty holds up her hand and keeps going. Plus, we know Taylor's farm was raided today. What if they come back? What if they want revenge? Brook Tunnel lean guns, and I'm happy to have a pint and then stand guard. You're absolutely right. Just don't drink too much. Sorry, who the fuck are you again? She waves her hand in front of her, forestalling your response. You know what? I don't care. Stay out of our business. Thanks very much. <laughs> Sounds like great advice. I'm going to take it too. She gives Ella a caustic look and heads inside the pub. She muttered something about being a fucking babysitter before stalking off into the gathering darkness. <laughs> Damn, a lot of fucking going on in this game. <laughs> Sleep for sure. Okay. Yep, that's what I'm hoping for. We'll see. We shall see. All right. Who can we talk to? Um. Did it first. He's listening to Misty's enthusiastic recount of the day's events with a half an ear and keeping tabs on the people in the bar with the other. Up for it, chat? Uh, yeah. You ready to sit down and share a few pints and have a yarn about how today went? He looks at Jonesy, who's drinking his beer and simply raises his eyebrow by way of assent. Not just yet. Fine. Come back when you are. He turns back to Jonesy and you have a distinct impression you just ceased to exist. Uh, what about Dreamer? She's talking animatedly, almost knocking over a glass of beer. Jonesy moves it out of harm's way. I'm not looking to make new friends. See ya. Elena. Having a good one, mate? <laughs> Retire attention is focused on Jake. You couldn't interrupt if you tried. There he is. She greets you with arms wide open. Let me get you that drink. She draws you a beer and sets it in front of you. Nothing like a cold one on a thirsty day, eh, Chuck? She grins. 
I'm guessing you heard the fair share of the road, didn't you? She's been calling the young ones that way since we were kids ourselves. She pours herself a sip of beer and raises her glass to Frida. She drinks and sets the glass aside to be washed. Doesn't love that F word for sure. <laughs> and the C word. <laughs> oh, so this isn't really out of character. Interesting. I'll take that free beer now. You mean your second freebie of the night? Dealer's choice then, mate. She draws you a beer from a different tap. Got this one from a bloke in Alderside. It'll put some hair on your chest if it doesn't kill you first. Enjoy. How about another free beer? Not yet, mate. You gotta grease it a little bit. I only charge five bucks a pint. You buying? Of course. Appreciate your commerce, mate. She draws you all beer and plays in front of you with military precision. Enjoy. Let's trade. Uh, okay, yeah, there's nothing here that I want. We're all good on this. Mm -hmm. Continue. I'll buy another beer, thanks. Can't stay away, eh? She pours you a beer and takes your money with a smile. I'll buy another beer, thanks. Go for your life. She pours your beer, plays with a smile, and turns to other patrons. Okay. I was just thinking about that. Oh, I'll take the three beer now. Glad to hear it. Now, don't forget to buy the other three, eh? She draws your beer with a perfect head and plays in front of you with a flourish. <laughs> so that actually worked. That's awesome. <laughs> the interior of the bar is gorgeous. Loving the art direction execution of this game. Yep, I agree. I agree. I'm a fan. Fantastic crowd. <laughs> All right. Uh, you going to buy me a drink? Uh, he and Jonesy exchange a glance. Mate, you've got to pay more attention to the people around you. If I wanted to buy your drink, I would have done. <laughs> wow. I'm ready to have that chat now. Atta boy. Jonesy picks up his beer and wanders off to find conversation elsewhere. Misty follows. Suddenly, you're fixed by mixed piercing gaze. Let's get down to brass tacks. I know you're from Westonia stock, but I'm keen to see what you picked up. Give you some pointers on uh, how you handled yourself out there. Reckon you'd be open to hearing my take on things? Sure, why not? Well then, he gives you a measured look. Here we go. I always like to know what any new trader's up to in town. I was delighted to hear about your keen eye for a bargain from both Alana and Sally. Sometimes the ability to suffer in silence can help you get ahead, but I'd be lying if I said what Ian Mason put you through was worth a few plinks at a tin can. You see him again, don't put up with his shit. The rest of us don't. You're going to want to watch yourself around here or hightail it back to Estonia, I reckon. I run a tight ship, and there's no room for people who can't pull their own weight. Consider that fair warning. Now, tell me I'm wrong. You're not wrong. I thought so. He takes a sip of his beer. You don't live the life I have without becoming an excellent judge of character. The sound of hail reaches your ears a moment before Sean bursts into the pub, screams and cloying smoke trailing in his wake. So the last time we triggered a narrator, she didn't say anything. Interesting. So there's supposed to be voice action. Whoa, Broken Rose Game Director checking in here. Yo, appreciate it. What's going on? Just picked up straight now. Looks like you're having fun. Yeah, I'm having a good time so far. Got no complaints. Appreciate you checking in. I'm enjoying the game thus far. For sure. Get out here. We're under attack. Uh-oh. The growl of his voice carries in the shock silence. Bloody mongrels. Let's show them what it means to tangle with Brookton. She grabs a rifle from the wall and cocks it. Let's rock. Well, hopefully combat will go better this time. Now what I, I assume I got party members? Because <laughs> if I don't, it's gonna be rough. Sad Blue Bay by Day, love it, then subscribe. Thank you, thank you. Glad you enjoyed the stream, dude. Also can't wait to see your future products. Yeah, for sure, we've all been enjoying it. This is the right kind of channel for this game. We're into uh, uh, narrative focused games. Uh, it's not telling me anything, so I assume I just come over here. Nope, it's not saying that either. Okay. Oh, that's right. Our camel stuff is over here, right? That's Abigail. Oh, wait, can I talk to her? Abigail, you need some help? 
Fuck off. You want to make me a target? Oh, damn. All right. If that's the way you feel. <laughs> no, I should probably save before I talk to that. We're not going to help uh, protect the town. We're just going to leave. Bob and Dawn are straining at the harnesses, almost overturning the cart. Mick is shouting at Jess over the rattle of gunfire. We're not leaving until we've got a few more people clear. They spot you at the same time. Let's go! Jess' voice cuts through a sudden silence. I said not yet. Mick grabs Bob's harness, stops Jess from leaving, and glares at her. Where are the others? What others? Jess shakes her head. It doesn't matter. They'll be fine. But we won't if we hang around for much longer. I'll go rescue the poor bastards. She groans in frustration. Hurry. Okay. So I'm expected to go help some people. Matt doesn't say anything. Okay. So I assume it is, it is these people here then. Can I talk to one of them? Let's see. Yep, I can. Oh, wait. Actually, you here. Why is it, though, it's running me over here when I try to talk to them? All right, maybe over here is where I'm supposed to go, and I just don't realize it. Is he going to come out from around? Okay, yep, he's going through here. Why are we going this way? What is that about? Is he still... Oh. Yeah, I don't know why it went all the way around like that. Okay, yeah, he's coming out here. He's coming out here. Okay, fine. I still don't see myself, though. Yeah, see, and now he's going all the way back. I don't know what that's about. Right, he's block he must be blocked off from, from coming through there. So let's go back around. Same ones that told you to fuck off and not make them a target, now I want your help. Yeah. <laughs> Look for people hiding away. Uh, okay. Make a gesture. Oh, oh, oh. Make a gesture at Taylor's farm. Get going. Oh, there we go. Not the people shooting the people out in the way. Okay, cool. So that's them. Olive. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Help. Help. Rescue. Oh, optional. Rescue five towns. Oh, you know what? That's probably part of the problem. It seems like I'm not. There we go. I wasn't looking at the actual quest. Okay. Isabella. Thank God. Sobbing. Uh, looks like y'all are not. Talk to Sarah if you need something, mate. Looks like y'all are good, I guess. What's going on over here? Ban it, ban it, ban it, ban it. We already looted that. Sally Eads and them. Alright, so I must have missed somebody. Can't go inside here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? I didn't go all the way south, did I? They might have rested with uh been camped out right behind the gates. Yeah, because nothing there, nothing there. Do, do. Anybody sitting outside these gates trying to hide? Nope. Doesn't look like it. One more towns person. I'm waiting for the game to appear on Xbox. In New Zealand, the game hasn't appeared in my store, even though it's on the new game's thumbnail. Yeah, you know what? I didn't pay attention to the schedule, so I'm not sure exactly when it's supposed to uh, pop up. Oh, you know what? I didn't go all the way into the field. Do -do 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 -do. I might want spoilers, but give me just a second. Let me make sure. Da, da, da. Ah, here we go. Nope, I got it. Get out of here. We'll handle this. Optional rescue five uh, and return to Mick. Okay, cool. Boop, boop. You should the killer late. I'm so happy there's stuff. Thank you, Elric. I appreciate it, man. I'm doing my best. Try to make sure people are entertained. Ready? Her voice is terse, her face like stone. Ready. You did awesome, kid. He claps your shoulder and gives you a little shake. She clicks her tongue at the two camels and Mick reluctantly hands over the reins. 
you head out of the gate towards Taylor's farm. I'm glad I was able to save all the townsfolk and it didn't impact my Machiavellian um, morality. Like, I feel like in another game, that would have only been a humanist option, but I can be Machiavellian, but at the same time, I take care of my folks. These are, these are our folks. We're not gonna leave them behind. We're gonna take the time to put them all together, but fuck everybody else. <laughs> Uh-oh. You're a shot explode overhead. I'll hold him off. He's standing up inside the watchtower, scanning the streets behind you. He fires again. Go now. Chicken. Crackle up. Chicken, are you there? Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Being. Uh. Do I want her to send help? Probably not. Yes, I'm here. I can't hear you. Someone's attacking Kokobi. Don't come back here, Chuck. I found a safe place. I don't think they know where. Her voice cuts off in a squeal of feedback and the radio falls silent. He clears his throat uncomfortably. Well, I'm sure she's fine. He glances at Jess, who doesn't hide her impatience. Ooh, let's just get going, eh? He shakes the reins, driving Bob into a walk, and you exit Brookton, Dane's rifle booming overhead. You pass through the farm with its terrified sheep and snorting pigs. You reach the other side. Mick glances back. Jess shakes the reins and the camels break into a trot, leaving the smoke and gunfire of Bookton behind. Bloody hell. Without warning, the raiders were just there, cutting people down as they ran, eviscerating anyone who didn't, and burning everything else. Brookton was a growing community, making the most of a shitty situation after the world went and fucked itself. <laughs> Brookton was, with no hope now. I love the way People the camels scattered and this. ran. Some were found. Some were found too late. Many weren't found at all. Morning comes, cold, with a hint of fire on the horizon as you cross the vast red desert. The pale faces of the survivors who reached Bally Bally Hall were ovals of white in the darkness when you left, watching as you, Mick, Ella and Mad begin your trek towards the answers none of you were sure you wanted to find. Smoke no longer rises from Brookton. The visiting winds have carried it away in the night. You listen for the cries of the wounded, but hear only silence. Even the dawn chorus of kookaburras chattering in the trees is absent, chased away by the smell of blood and gunpowder. Mick leads you through the gate, then stops. That's when the nightmare becomes real. Hmm. Brutal. I'm a big, big fan right. of the art in this game. Spread out and look for survivors. Scouts will hold up around the pub last time I saw. What? Thanks for the interest in the game. Mainstream media reviews have been brutal, so seeing people enjoy it this much is absolute gold for the team. Oh, absolutely my pleasure. Don't 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 get wrapped up into that. People make up all sorts of reasons to review a game in a certain way. At the end of the, of the day, you just have to have confidence in the people that you know are gonna enjoy your type of game. You can look at any game and see one star reviews and people who think terribly of it doesn't mean you've made something bad at all. I can't review this game and make a comment on it because I'm only a couple hours into it. But thus far, as you can already see, I'm having a good time. Absolutely. What does Machiavellian mean? Machiavellian means you're basically all about you and yours, so it's screw everybody else. So there's four moralities in this game. You can be Machiavellian, you can be a humanist, which means you believe in the sanctity of life. Everybody is important, each individual person you want to make sure they're taken care of. There's also utilitarian, which means you uh, believe in the whole. So uh, whatever is going to help the uh, most amount of people. So individually, people don't matter. It's about the collective and what's best for the collective group. And then the last one is a nihilist, which basically means you... Uh, my understanding, at least, is that you don't think anything really matters, so you might as well just be out for yourself and only do what you're interested in and doing you don't really uh care about other people you don't care about a collective you and only you matters whereas machiavellian is is different right it's a 
it, it, it's much more about kind of taking care of you and yours at the expense of everybody else. Steam showing like 50 says broken. Yeah, it hasn't been broken for me thus far. Like I've had a couple of question marks I couldn't click on and you all saw I had the navigation route uh, issue, but it hasn't been like broken to the point where I'm like, and I had to restart once, but it wasn't like, oh, I can't play this. That hasn't been an issue at all. Team Ethics, right. I believe this is Bear Bites first game, right? As far as I know, I haven't heard of uh, Drop Bear Bites before, so I assume this is their first game. He points towards the clinic. Sarah and them said they left by the south gate. Might still be some supplies to collect. So, he turns to you and you feel the full intensity of his gaze. You've proven yourself capable in a pinch. Where do you want to start? I'll go to the market. Actually, no, I'll go to the clinic. Good old. He nods you in a direction. Ella, mad. It's on you to keep this young fella safe. We'll meet up at the cricket, cricket pitch. Be thorough, but quick. Party game. Ooh, okay. Look at me with a couple of party members. Well, well, well. He has our first title together. Both of the team have worked on numerous games before, but for some on the team, this is our first one. Yeah. So yeah, for your first one, and that's the other thing. A lot of people who review, they don't take that into account. Whereas someone who's used to playing CRPGs and indie games most especially, that's absolutely something I'll take into account. So no. From what I've seen so far for someone's first game, I got no issues. No issues. Hey, hunting rifle. I wanted that. Excellent. Okay. Well, no. Uh, thus far, I've had no problems whatsoever. What I will say, though, is that the next time you all do a game, you all should take into account the content creators who are going to play and enjoy your types of games. I did ask for a review code and did not receive it. And I was like, I could have had content ready to, for this game. I could have already been streaming it. I would have had no problems with that. So next time, y'all, if you give the code to me, I'll make sure that the game, I can't guarantee what my review will be like, but the live stream and the way I generally approach the game is going to be from someone who actually really enjoys CRPGs and narrative type games, which seems to be what you all plan to specialize in. The crops have been stripped from the earth, strewn with salt. Anyone see the big Lebowski? I, I saw it a long time ago. I don't remember anything about it except that I did enjoy my time with it. You guys have done great. And I have full faith that you have fixed the bugs exactly yeah, there's no reason for me to believe that um i don't see any reason why i wouldn't buy another one of your games or why i don't believe you'll you'll support this game properly so again solid hardwood reduced to ashes don't buy into like what you see right now if nothing else there's been plenty of studios who their first game was not particularly well regarded and they still turn out to be great studios in fact we were just talking about Alcat. Whatever you're experiencing right now with your launch pales in comparison to the response that Alcat got when they dropped Kingmaker. And Alcat is a very well-regarded studio right now and very well-respected. So all you have to do is just keep at it. Well, you didn't get a key? Yeah, yeah, nope, I didn't look at all your channel for your email address. Yeah, appreciate it, man, but yeah. So I, I had reached out about it because I knew your game was coming. I was like, yo, I could do some content for it. I could be ready for it. I wasn't able to do those things, so. I don't, I, again, I can't guarantee what my review score would have been, but I would have at least reviewed your game in a way that would have taken into account, hey, this is a narrative heavy game, it's a CRPG, it's from an indie company. I feel like some of those other reviews you're probably looking at didn't really take that into consideration. It's all good, we live and we learn. We're in the Slattis community, understand that games can be bugged out. Exactly, again, we play Outcat games all the time. Like, <laughs> we know up front what it's going to be like. It just is what it is. No more happy laughter reverberates from the nearby walls. Oh, that's sad. That's rough. The nihilist germ is where it layers. <laughs> Kingmaker was unplayable on release. Facts. Facts. It was unplayable, and to be honest with you, it's still not what I would consider like really a stable game, in part because they lost the license or something happened with it, so like they couldn't do anything else with it. But your game is nothing like Kingmaker. Nothing like the issue I had with Kingmaker from the time that I've had with it thus far. Now, by the time I finish with it, I don't know what the bugs and stuff are going to be like. But right now, no, nah, no, nah, bro. You're good. You're good. He's, uh, mm -hmm. We love Outcat games too, exactly. 
Exactly, bro. So no, don't feed it tonight. Immediately, you can tell that the clinic has been picked clean. Any empty bottles have been smashed. The ground, a multicolored kaleidoscope of wanton destruction. Ooh, Sid's there. He's curled in the fetal position with his back to the door. He almost looks as if he could be sleeping if it weren't for the blood pooled around a single bullet wound to the back of his head. Damn, he didn't make it. Well, that's a pile of sadness. She nudges him with her boot just to make sure. Nothing we could do for him now. You want to look around a bit or are we done here? Let's take a few minutes to search. At the back of a shelf, deep in shadow, your questing fingers discover nothing but cobwebs and the skittering tickle of too many legs. Oh, wow. You withdraw your hand with a yelp. She laughs at your obvious discomfort, parodying your movement. You see that, Elle? Ella doesn't reply. She's standing with her finger on the trigger of her rifle, staring out into the sunlight. Jake would have left us on if he was safe. Something's wrong. The sharp crack of a gunshot reverberates in the silence. Before you've even had time to fully process the scene, Ella and Matt are both sprinting towards the marketplace, weapons drawn. Here we go. Oh crap, I could have leveled up. All right, we'll level up in a minute. All right, don't let that, yeah. Because of small studios, but for AAA there's a difference. Exactly, uh-oh. He's against the pub wall with Jonesy's head leaning on his shoulder. He looks up as you approach, then gently disentangles himself from his dead son. Ooh, and stands. Let's get the rest of this mess sorted then, eh? Under control, organized. He walks off towards the crippled pitch without another word. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Her footsteps falter as she approaches Misty's corpse. Her face remains an impassive mask as she examines the bullet wounds at throat, neck, and thigh. Two spots of color rise in her pale cheeks as she consciously moves her finger from the trigger of her gun to the guard. Mad steps forward, her jaw set in determination. L. Don't! The word rings out in the silence like a slap to the face. Mad doesn't wince, but withdraws. She walks away without another word. Damn, this is brutal. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, I failed Sid's quest. Oh, snap. Talk to da Damo Land in the marketplace about his... Check up on Sid's medical treatment at the clinic in Brookton. Wait, what the hell? How? Okay, I hate to do this, but I have to go back. I, I, I have to. I don't understand. How did I screw that up? How's that possible? I talk to everybody. I talk to everybody more than once. How's that possible? I don't know, Jim. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I? I never talked to Sid. <sighs> Good to see you, young fella. He gives you a friendly nod. What do you do? Now? Nothing much. What did you used to do? Damo already told you about our fuel running. Bye. So. How'd you end up? Got any news? What do you do? Got any news for me? Bye. So wait. I have not failed it as of yet. I'm, I'm confused. Sickness on the death. I checked up on Sid in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. He's already looking better. Oh, okay. I completed it now. Damn. <laughs> All right. We're going to skip through the dialogue now. Here, I'll let you out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, unlock the key. Continue. 
continue. Bleeding heart. All right. Show your spoils off to Mick. So, y'all, we're going to make this quick. And get right back to where we were. Oh, wait. Mick's not there. My bad. Mick is over here, right? I screwed that up. Okay, so that's a good note, though. From now on, before I move on, look at the side quest. <laughs> How are you, darling? You, of course, you could always troll me, but actually, you should be asleep. What's the deal? Uh, remain silent. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Machiavellian. Uh, absolute being. You know, uh, the only way anyone's free from one or care is if they're dead. You know what? Uh, that too, but you know, yeah. A truth held by those who've gone wanting all their lives, but not a faith to condemn others off, surely. Uh, we've never met you before. Uh, all right. Head to the pub. Get your beers on. Excellent. Um, what you drink or two? Uh, not like there's many cars on the road these days. go in step it was funny if you leave with Mick and Jess in the uh if you leave with Mick and Jess in the camel car you can't help say it when the counter's on the attack talk to Sarah instead of Jess and Mick oh I appreciate it all right because I do not want him to die so yep I will go help him <laughs> need a new show uh is it there show you were supposed to watch to see if we you wanted to uh, check it out with me? But now I can't remember what the name of it was. All right, pot. Never heard a slide of what? Uh, she's my wife, Elric. <laughs> uh, I'll take that free beer. Take your other free beer, too. How about another free beer? Not yet, mate. Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll buy one beer. It's fine. And then, did I buy anything from you? I did not. Okay, cool. We're good. Bye. Okay, and now I'll talk to you. Um, you gonna buy me a drink, Sally? Yeah, Atta let's boy. do it. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you're from West Tardy. Um, but I'm keen to see. Sure. Yep, yep, yep. Now. Yep. Uh, you're not wrong. Yep, the let's go. The sound of hail reaches your ears a moment. Yep, 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 yep. Also, ultimate troll. Oh, yeah, my wife loves trolling the channel. She trolls on here. She's even trolled the Discord a couple of times. <laughs> For damn year, it did though. <laughs> All good, Eric. All right, now. So, let's save here. All right. Start. So, who you start with matters. That's interesting. Um, this is the clinic, right? Talk to Sarah if you need some, mate. Yep, I'm talking to her. There you are. She holds out her hand. Give me Frida's radio. We can call for help. Uh, give her the radio. She all but snatches it from your hand and brings the receiver to her lips. F-bomb. This is Sashay. Do you copy? We are under attack. Over. I saw the, uh, ambulance that didn't even do anything with it. A crackle of static bursts from the radio before Frida's voice comes through, scratchy and uneven. Sarah, where's Chuck? Is he all right? She doesn't even glance at you. He's fine. <laughs> Frida, we're under attack. I need you to get in touch with the scouts and static blast from the radio and she recoils involuntarily. I can't hear you. Someone's attacking Kokobi. Don't come back here, Chuck. I've found a safe place. I don't think they know where... Her voice cuts off in a squeal of feedback and the radio falls silent. What what happened? Fucked if I know, she mutters. She taps her hand against her thigh, then nods as if making a decision. Help Sean bringing out the medical supplies so we can get out of here. We'll check in on Frida once we're safe. She pauses momentarily and her stacking is sorted. Then there's that bloke from Kokobi, the one with radiation poisoning. 
Well, we're full up. He'll have to stay behind. What? Good call. It isn't good or bad. It, it's just what is. He scans the lines of boxes filling the ambulance and shoves another one into an overflowing shelf. It fits perfectly. Biology success. Ooh. Biology success. Okay. This radiation poisoning is curable. You know it is. She glances at you in irritation. You're gonna fight me on this, aren't you? Machiavellian. Sure am. And if you fight me, I'll make sure everyone knows it. Mmm. I like that. I like that. You think these people don't know me? I've lived here all my life. You're just a whiny infant they met for the first time today. She allows you to feel the full weight of her contempt. But I'm not getting shot because of your stubbornness. Go get them. As long as you accept that the blood of the next person who dies, because I lack resources, is going to be on your hands. I'll go... Wait, what? No. I'm not going to tell him he has to stay behind. Why? I'll go tell him he has to stay behind. Why do I have to say that? Good. She goes back to shuffling boxes without another word. Why does he have to stay behind? Is it because I chose the Machiavellian option? Did I have to choose humanist in order to get him? Damn, I probably did. Oh, okay. So I, it, it wasn't supposed to force me to do that. I was supposed to have an option, but it didn't. Got you. Okay, okay, okay. At least I didn't uh, 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 screw it up. He's sitting up, his face a pale oval in the darkness. I thought I was feeling better, but now I'm not so sure. Am I hallucinating? You're not hallucinating, but we need to go now. Help him out to the ambulance. He simply nods, then raises his arms to you like a child. You help him up, and he shuffles towards the ambulance. Take care, darling. Have a good night. Going to sleep now. Nah, just when you're younger, you play games and I fell asleep. I miss those times. We're going to have to get another cows to do it. <laughs> to say lie before that. Oh, got you. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, he's in. He's good. Save here. Uh, Sean, you don't need anything, right? Let's do what we need to do and get out of here. Talk to Sarah. I'm talking to Sarah. What the hell is this? She takes a moment to look you over and then throws her hands in the air. Put him in the back. Sid mercifully remains quiet as you help him into the overstuffed ambulance. You've got some explaining to do after we stop getting shot at. Just as he's about to hand Sarah his arm loaded supplies, the sound of running feet reaches you. Ooh, different scene. Jake runs out of the darkness, dragging Atlanta behind him. Bullets ping off the road in his tracks as he shoves Elena towards you, wrenching his hand free of her grasp. She lands against you hard, throwing you off balance. Take her and go. I'll find you. He's already running back towards the gunfire, dodging and weaving, one shadow among many in the flickering dark. Jake! Elena pushes you away and runs after him, unarmed. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Uh... All right, I'm, I'm not, I, I lied. We're not only going to stick with Machiavellian choices. There's some things I can't do. Um, oh, wait, I don't have to go humanist, though. Let's see. No. Chase after her. Letting her distract Jake will only get him killed. You know what? Actually, that's almost a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good with that. You catch up with Elena quickly and grab her arm. Let go of me. Her screams draw gunfire to your position, and you feel a searing line of pain as a bullet grazes your leg. Charisma success. You only get him killed. Come on. You grab her wrist and she doesn't pull away. You lead her back the way you came and she starts to sob. Jake. You make it to the clinic, her despair drowned by gunfire. Sarah looks up as you approach and smiles, relieved. Sean rushes over and wraps her arms around Elena. Thank God. I don't think Jess ever would have forgiven me. His voice is tight with emotion. Though now, we have a problem. Sarah gestures at the ambulance. We've got room for five. There are six people we need to evacuate. No one speaks for a moment. The awkward silence is broken by gunfire 
and Sid clears his throat. I reckon you leave me a gun. I'll make out all right. Elena stares at the marketplace in the growing flames, oblivious to Sarah's words. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, what do you think of Level Up Sound? I haven't paid attention to it. I'll I'll note it next time. When K-Man released Amazing Attitude. <laughs> hey, I'm a big fan of Alcat, so it works for me. Um, take out some of the medical... Mm, take out some of the medical supplies. We can all fit. I wish I could say that I'll just stay and meet up with the other folks and go with them instead, but it makes sense that that's not really an option. Take out some of the medical supplies. We can all fit. Sarah frowns. If it was just a matter of a few bottles and jars, I'd be right with it. But unfortunately, we just can't fit another human being inside there. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna take the Machiavellian option here either. Does anyone have a gun they can spare? I sold my guns. Not yeah, Okay, word to the wise. Don't sell your guns, apparently. Here, Sarah hands Sid a pistol she had tucked in her belt. It's not much, but it should do some damage if you know how to use it. Ta. He takes the pistol, holding it loosely in one hand. Come on. Sean takes uh, Elena's hands and leads her into the ambulance. Jake knows where to find us. With well, one last look towards the burning marketplace, she allows herself to be pulled inside. Bloody hell. Without warning, the raiders were just there. Ooh, it's an ambulance this time. That's awesome. Ran, eviscerating anyone who didn't and burning everything else. Brookton was a growing community, making the most of a shitty situation after the world went and fucked itself. Brookton was, with no hope now. People scattered and ran. Some were Level found, up sound the beer some opening? Were found too late. <laughs> That's awesome. Many weren't found at all. Morning comes, cold, with a hint of fire on the horizon as you cross the vast red desert. The pale faces of the survivors who reached Bally Bally Hall were ovals of white in the darkness when you left, watching as you, Mick, Ella and Mad Begin your trek towards the answers none of you were sure you wanted to find. Smoke hmm. no longer rises from Brookton. The visiting winds have carried it away in the night. You listen for the cries of the wounded, but hear only silence. Even the dawn chorus of kookaburras chattering in the trees is absent, chased away by the smell of blood and gunpowder. Mick leads you through the gate then stops. That's when the nightmare becomes real. The nightmare. Right. Spread out and look for survivors. Scouts will hold up around the pub. Last time I saw. He points towards the clinic. You said you and Sarah left by the south gate. Might still be some supplies to collect. So... Where do you want to start? I'll check if any of the townsfolk made their way to the clinic. Good o. He nods in your direction. Ella Mad is on you to keep this young fella safe. We'll meet up at the cricket pitch. Be thorough, but quick. Alright. And now we're back to where we were. Excellent. Better. We had devs come into your stream, uh, Slander. Uh, no, actually, I think this is the first time. I've had uh, devs come into my, <coughs> leave comments on my Let's Play before, especially in my first year when I was basically doing Let's Plays of Wrath of the Righteous beta over and over again. The devs used to come on and, and say, man, we're catching so many bugs <laughs> by looking at these episodes. <laughs> so that used to be pretty cool. But no, this is the first time I've had one on the stream. It's pretty nice, actually. Let me know, like, oh, you can't do this. This is how it's supposed to happen. Y'all know I'm not crazy good at these games, so that helps. <laughs> I think a lot of general games expect everything to be rendered and handed to you for easy, super easy consumption. Yep. Like just having an art scene and monologue allow for imagination. Yep. Yep. They're not used to it. They're not used to it. It's all right. Different games for different people. 
Like, I'm not into MMOs or first-person shooters or games of that sort, you know? So if this was uh, that kind of game, I'd be having a completely different reaction right now. Damn! He still didn't make it. Immediately, you could tell that the clinic has been picked clean. Any empty bottles would have been smashed. The ground, a multicolored kaleidoscope of wanton destruction. He sprawled on the floor, Sarah's pistol still clutched in his cold, lifeless hand. From the blood splatters in the doorway, you gather he took his attackers by surprise, even if it wasn't enough to save him. Take the pistol. Damn. Who calls here some dead bodies? They're the character models of the origin stories you didn't pick. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Run up doing 360 era because I use my imagination for everything. Yeah, it helps. Yo, that's super cool. So you all almost treat the origin story as kind of like Dragon Age origins, because even though you um you you can come across and find out, oh, this is how those different origins died throughout the game. So because of rescuing Elena, Sid will now be dead. Right, there are ways to rescue him, but I think we need to add another option to make it clear. Got you, got you. All right, I'm gonna eat eat it this time. Sarah want that back. Her tone is mild, but the implication is clear. You wanna look around for a bit, or we're done here. Let's. Let's take a few minutes to search. Oh, I wonder, will there be something to search since uh, he was able to fend off the attackers? At the back, nope, still nothing. She laughs, yeah, doesn't Jake reply. Would Jake would have left the sign uh, before. Jake should be alive, shouldn't he? Jonesy. Let's Jones get the rest head. of this mess, sorted, this mess right? sorted out. Dreamer. Don't. No, don't. She's upset. There we go. Oh, Jake didn't make it. Neither of the sisters slow their steps as they approach their cousin's lifeless body. Mad shifts her weight, and for a moment, it seems like she might give him a kick for good measure, but she restrains her impulse after a glance at Ella. Oh, she... This sucks. It fucking sucks. They stand in silent agreement for a moment, neither of them willing to break the silence. Then Ella sighs and turns away. Let's keep moving. Ooh, brutal. He still kept a death grip on his gun as though it could somehow save him. Only knickknacks and memorabilia remain. Damn! All the origin stories do happen, yes, and they converge to the attack after the pub. Interesting. Yeah, I I love an origin system as well. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of it. Definitely, definitely a fan of it. A after Dra Dragon Age made me a huge fan of being able to have origins like that. Dane! Damn, they didn't leave n leave nobody alive. Poor bastard. Deserved better. It's all the way out here. Anything? Nope. Okay. Back in the city. That had this option for players and that choice of consequence seen in the game. Yep. Characters just north of Mishti is the hired gun. Dreamer. Oh! Nice. That's awesome. That's the one uh, Wolfheart played as. Did I remember loot? No, I didn't. Ooh, spike club and another hunting rifle. And some bandages? Yep. Yeah. Oh, and a Molotov. Nice. Okay. Since my actual combat skills are terrible, I'm probably going to make great use of throwing things in combat. Did I check through all through all this already? I know I looted that. Let's check over here, check over here. Damn, I can't believe I still screwed up Sid. Knew I should have let that girl die. And it didn't even save Jake. That's just all the way stuff. Alright. Got anything out here? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Let me check down here already. Let's check over by the cage. I wonder if this raider is ever going to come back. That should be interesting. That's exact starting inventory of that origin. That's awesome. Okay. Whoa. 
Who are you, lady? Did I loot you yet? I don't think I did. Dead farmer. Ooh. Oh, was she the chick that was over here? Because I didn't um I didn't get her and come save her. That's probably her, isn't it? I'm sorry, lady. The crops have been stripped and the earth strewn with salt. They strewn the earth with salt? That's unnecessary. That's super unnecessary. All right. Hey, if it's in real life, so you can be <laughs> slandered. Nah, damn, ghost buddy. Hey, bro, it's not my fault. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I checked this body already, right? Let me just check it one more time, just be sure. And yep, we're good. Okay. I think we cleared this whole town. This is a brutal scene. Absolutely brutal. All right, let's save here. So if I have party members, does that mean when I go to inventory? It does. What are these slots for, I wonder? You, oh, 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 this is armor. Keeps you safe from mean sunburn, boost critical hit and dodge chance by 10 points each. Um, so wait, gear, yeah, weapons. So what do you have? Oh, she's got a sniper rifle. That's interesting. What's this? Oh, Sally's leg. If you needed to, you could either use it to kick a footy or use it to bash someone's skull in. This, this, is, this is brutal. I'm not going to be using nobody's leg. Um, okay, and then she's got some... Uh, you could put things in a consumable box. Uh, you know what? I'll give her a beer. Why right not? So wait, you can have... General... Also, this is considered to be junk, so I could just sell this because it's junk. Interesting. Oh, this is a quest item. I didn't realize that. And a barter crew special. Okay. Right back to uh, uh, long stay uh, business, but thanks so much for doing it. Yeah, for sure. I'll stream again later. Enjoy it. Thanks so much. This has been a highlight of our day for sure. My pleasure. My pleasure. Definitely looking forward to seeing more from you all. So. Get those uh, updates to the game, and I'll definitely be looking forward to support your next game as well. Again, don't, don't let the haters stop you. You all got to have confidence in what you've done. Take care. Have a good evening. Um, you got a couple of grenades, on, so I don't need to give you more. Uh, you know what? I guess I got two more on top. Why not? Make sure I have. Yeah, I got a grenade. Yeah, I'm going to get myself a grenade here. Everybody should have a grenade. Everybody should be able to use a grenade. What's the problem? Why can't she put them on now? There we go. Ooh, Mad's bat. Okay, Mad constructed this bat herself because nothing else she could find was packing enough punch. That looks crazy. And then she's also got a standard shotgun, but that kind of doesn't make sense, right? Because if she's already got the bat is what she would use at close range. But you know what? Maybe if she couldn't get quite close enough. All right, this is a hunting rifle. So I've got the shotgun, which I will use at close range, and then I'd actually like to use the hunting rifle at like medium range. That makes more sense to me. Now you, you're gonna use a sniper rifle at long range, and then the hunting rifle, hunting knife at close range. That, that kind of makes, well, you know what, actually, I kind of prefer uh, one through eight, you know what? Yeah, the re revolver. Yeah, 1 through 8 and then 8 through 12. I like that more. You're going to stick with that. Um, uh, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, right? None of these really have longer range, right? So that's fine. Uh, let's put everything out here. Um, is there any... Oh, you've got this here. You can have a sandwich. And then what do you got? You got some beer. That's cool. Thanks for having a good evening. Yep, take care. Wasteland is playing as much more <laughs> what we had, had in mind. No problem. Oh, one thing that Eric just says, yes, some reviewers have finished the game in like as little as seven hours. And as you can see, that is skipping through a lot of the content. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'm playing the game the way it's actually meant to be played. <laughs> well, they sort of a lot of peers. Yep, I agree. Start your journey. Coincident? I think not. Absolutely. That's a lot of success to you. You fit his balls gate three at 3.5 minutes. Exactly. Or you can actually have a fun, good time with the game. You know, 
It's all about what you're looking for. Okay, uh, so that does the inventory. Now, let's look at your character sheet. You don't have anything to spend. You don't have anything to spend. Now, you specialize in agility and intelligence. And you've got a higher rank in shooting mastery. So Ella's a good shooter. And what's Dead Eye? Take the time to line up your shot. Make an attack with a bonus to accuracy. Each point in Dead Eye increases the accuracy of the skill by a certain amount. Okay, interesting. She's got a little bit of vigilance. Keep your finger on the trigger and your eyes down your sights. Prepare an attack and fire on the first enemy who moves within range. Ooh, so this is like Overwatch. 1 in 100 increases accuracy of this ability by 0.2% per point each level above 100 increases the accuracy of this ability by 0.5 percent while equipped with a loaded range weapon this character spends three action points plus the remaining action points to prepare an automatic attack ah that's interesting all right and those are the two things that she has that's it okay she's got a little more awareness as well now you you've got a ton of strength a ton of agility some resolve too so you're perfect for melee Melee Mastery and Barbican Shrug Off Damage. Okay, so you're the upfront tank. You're the long range character. And I can be the gren uh, Grenadier. This works well so far. Oh, wait. Let me go ahead and uh, upgrade myself. Um, so I guess I'll take uh, Charisma. And then I will also... Uh, Let's see, 75, huh? Yeah, you know what? Let me get that up to 75 first, confirm. And then there we go. And say that, Moonlight, what's going on? How are you? Well, let's take me home to that place. They've been making that joke all day. <laughs> Moonlight, <laughs> not understand how people can complete CRPG so swiftly. I can, because you can basically just sift through the dialogue and skip through it. And that allows you to complete the game much faster. But, you know, I, sometimes I think about whether or not it would make more sense to play that game when I stream. Because I know it takes me quite some time to get through games. Whereas, if I didn't read all the dialogue and I just skipped through it and try to rush, 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 you know, I would get through more games in a year. But I also feel like I wouldn't be providing the type of streaming experience that I would want you all to see. Like, I enjoy the laid back type of game in where, hey, we're reading the dialogue. We're trying to experience everything this game has to offer. We're trying to really understand what the developers are trying to do. Like, that's the type of experience I want. And I know it means that some people check in and then like, this dude is not going through this nearly quick enough. Let me check out and go through somebody else. I know I lose people that way, but it just feels true to who I am as a gamer. And so, you know, that's just the way I prefer to stream. But, but I get it. I absolutely get it. Hey, mate. I'm broke. This yeah. has been quite the fucking shit show. I think Mick's about ready to pack it in. Mm. You ready to be done with this place? Yeah, I'm done. Well, it's been a tough day, but we're not done yet. It's clear by now that help isn't coming, and without some sort of protection, our days here are numbered. The way I see it, we bury our dead and we head off to Meriden. The radio's still out of Bally Bally, so we'll have to swing by and pick up that lot. We'll need to travel by night, but even a crawl by the light of the stars will be better than lighting a bonfire back at the hall that anyone can track us by. Any objections? Bally Bally Hall seems well fortified. Why can't we just stay there? No space, not enough ammo, not enough tucker. She counts off the points on her fingers. Plus, if it's someone who had it in for Bookton specifically, Bali Bali would be the next target for sure. She looks at Ella. Surprised it wasn't the first, actually. Why Meriden? Sturdy walls, trained militia. The recruits who don't take to the life of a scout end up back in hunters and collectors, and they fill out the city's ranks. Her face lights up. In fact, Misty always says, her mouth snaps shut like it's on a spring. The color rises in her cheeks. Mag gives her a look that's half concerned with a dash of contempt. What did Mishti used to say? She blinks rapidly. She said, none of them could hold a candle to Jake, though quite a few might have held a candle for him. She snorts. <laughs> Sounds like the kind of romantic rubbish Mish dream up. She watches Ella closely for a second, then reaches out and awkwardly puts her hand on her sister's shoulder. She covers Mad's hand with her own briefly. 
and then the moment is over. We may not have time to bury anyone. He's right. His voice is raw like he's been sucking on gravel. We should move on as fast as we can. We don't want to get caught bare-assed. I appreciate all you've done for Brookton, Mick, but you're not in the right state of mind to judge that. She nods at Mad. These people deserve what little dignity we can return to them. Normally, I'd say we'd let the dingoes take care of it, but yeah, she scratches her armpit. I'd want Jig to bury me, I suppose, and I don't mind digging. Hmm. Machiavellian. If you bury their bodies, the enemy will know we came back here. It gives them leverage because they'll know how to hurt us next time. Hmm. You're right. She seems surprised by her own voice. We're being selfish. Being sentimental is only going to get us killed sooner rather than later. She looks at Ella, then Mick. Last thing this place needs is more corpses. She chews the inside of her cheek, then sighs. Let's go. With a last tortured look towards the marketplace, she shr shrugs her shoulders as if settling a heavy burden. Then she walks away. Damn! Skip most dialogue, don't talk to people, only do main quests, don't think about options or outcomes, don't explore. Probably the worst way to play the game. Exactly. <laughs> My sentiments, exactly. <laughs> I can't play the game for too long. Mm -hmm. Some people have altars that have to do everything. <laughs> I don't make the rules. <laughs> I'm the type of person who has to do everything for sure. Take Blake's player in increments of a longer period of time. I spent most of Cyberpunk's conversations crouched be because stealth and skip was the same button. <laughs> I'm asked to be both LOA. I am a completionist to a fault who also flirts with many games at once, but I try to stop doing that. It is better for me one by one. <laughs> Characters talk and I have zero patience. Yeah, that's what usually happens with me too. Like, I'm reading the dialogue as they're saying it, and I'm like, all right, I already know what you're going to say. Move on, move on, move on, move on. That's what I do when I'm reviewing games. Like, if I only have one week to play a game, then I'm not playing it thoroughly like this. I'm skipping through that dialogue because I'm always terrified of not finishing a game in time for its embargo. You take off into the wilderness, mm. walking by night until you've put a couple of days distance between you and the flames. No one talks, or if they do, it's all in whispers. You have enough food, just enough, for now. Suddenly, a crack, like the sky breaking in two. You look up at the cloudless vault, but Mix caught the tail end of it through his binoculars. Pick up the pace, mm. is all he says. People are more than tired, they're exhausted. But Mick's words light a fire under him, get everyone moving as if the devil himself is hot on their heels. Then again, looking at the rising plume of dust and smoke ahead of you, maybe it's not the inferno you left behind that you need to worry about. Uh-oh. One's life has value so long as one attributes value to the life of others by means of love, friendship, and compassion. He shakes his head. I don't believe it. It's got to be a hundred years since anything this big flew. And who's got the chops to make jet fool you these days? I'm getting really tired of surprises. Hmm. He talks out the side of his mouth so the others can't see. I hate to ask someone of your obviously defective judgment for advice, but any thoughts on what Sean and John are walking into here? Wait a minute, what? Why, uh, why, why does he say my judgment is obviously defective? Hmm, barter crew. There's got to still be some loot in there. No way it's been down long enough to be picked clean. He gives a little nod. Keep that mercantile eye out. Could be the proof is in the pudding where an enigma like this is concerned. Go on then. Come get me if you find anything. the plane active. I wonder how many party members this game lets you have. Think about it. Hmm. 
Yeah, sometimes I do that, GM, if I find it reading too much. But in a game like this where I haven't read it before, I keep the subtitles on. Take care, Jovi. Have a good night, dude. Appreciate you joining the stream. Always good to see you. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. These haven't flown since before. <laughs> it's just before with a capital B knife. How the hell did this get here? Too bloody right. What a beauty. Uh -oh. eh? I've had a little poke around, but still can't quite make heads or tails of it. The voice gets louder as this owner makes his way towards the group. I'm sorry, who are you exactly? Name's Dejarly, but everyone calls me DJ. You must be Sean, eh? Your Jess told me heaps about you, including, uh, that you don't get out too much, right? He looks behind Sean to the convoy and waves. Haru, Jess, Bob and Dawn doing well? See the middle of talking to Sarah, but takes a moment to return the wave. So I guess we're here for the same reason. See a bloody big plum of smoke rising in the sky, you take a gander at what's burning. He gives a good natured shrug. The door is completely jammed shut, but the wings torn off. I didn't want to head inside alone, but now you're here, we've got safety in numbers, yeah? Let's have a crack at it. What do you think, Sean? If Jess says he's good people, then he's good people. Beauty, wouldn't mind the company. Rode a camel myself all the way here, and it wasn't the best conversationalist. <laughs> yeah, Sean, a walkie-talkie. Speaking of speaking, found this guy on the ground, but can't make him squawk. DJ joined. He has it in his hands. Feels like the batteries are missing. He pops the compartment and picks his side. Yeah, where so well. Might be able to scrounge up some around. I'll ask around. Barter crew, take the batteries out of your radio. Here, try these. Ripper. He fits the batteries and turns it on, but a quick flick through the available channels only results in static. It was worth the shot. I'll keep them if you don't mind. Let him keep the batteries. Go for it. Thanks, mate. He clips the walkie-talkie onto his belt and looks at his father. Come on, Dad. We should see if Mom needs help treating the people with heart stroke. Fair dinkum. He looks at the smoking hulk again. They're back at his son. Yeah, all right. I guess you'll tell us what you find at least. Too right, mate. Wistfully, John follows his son back to the ambulance. Come on. Let's get inside. All right. <sighs> Thanks, Jovi. Same for Moonlight. That way you can't read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. I was just saying that sometimes that's exactly what I do. The lid of this container has been forced open. Whatever was inside is long gone. So wait a minute. Let's see. Oh, I leveled up again. That's awesome. Um. Oh, that's right. Did I level? Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. 75. Excellent. In addition, whenever this character makes a critical hit, rare. Allies within three meters of the target gain the brave condition, granting them plus five initiative and plus 25% accuracy at the start of their turn. Now all companions gain four initiative. Character select an enemy to afflict with a mark condition, giving allies plus 20% damage and accuracy when attacking this enemy. Enemies are always successfully marked. Gain another permanent plus one initiative, total of plus three. When this character ends their turn, all allies get inspired, gaining them plus three initiative for their next turn. Okay, cool. And then this is also what I want to increase. Confirm, and we're good. All right, we're good. And what do you specialize in? So wait, you've got a pistol and you've got a hunting knife. Oh, whoops, moral compass. Moral compass keeps track of your current worldview, active moral traits and philosophical leanings. It also laws your moral history, a short entry summarizing each moral choice you made and which philosophical lean is assigned to. All right, and I've got three. Better um, better fear than love. Right, 10% plus character level chance of succeeding. All right, okay, those are those three. Interesting. 92% with a little bit of utilitarian, okay? Now you. What do you got? Nine intelligence. So you got a little bit of biology and you got some shooting. So you're a healer then. Well, let's make sure you got bandages then. There you go. Good for you. And you don't have any grenade slots. That's interesting. Right. We got grenade slots. You don't have any. What is the trade off? Why don't you have grenade slots 
And what is the trade-off for you not having grenade slots? One is... Huh. I don't know at this time. What is this initiative? Okay, good. All right. Um, other question. Can I... Moral compass, journal, map. Can I mess with formation at all? Doesn't seem like there's an option to do that. As I comments, it'll be hard not to pick anything other than you utilitarian at all times. <laughs> yeah, there's been a I, I was meant to stick with uh, uh, Machiavellian, but um, there's de definitely been a few times where I was like, all right, I can't do it. I, I can't do it. I can't be that cruel. So we'll see. Um, We'll see how the game, overall game goes. Okay. That's the top. Here, actually. We'll come around this side. Alright, that's the max of that sign. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. That, nope, okay, cool. Whoa, deceased man. Whoa. Look. He points towards the break in the fuselage. Two bodies lie motionless on the ground. Yeah, let's check him out. But it doesn't look good. Too late for both of them. She's had her throat cut. He's been beaten to death. And mate, this happened very recently. If it's so recent, maybe you should double check their vitals. DJ still cradles the head of one of the bodies on the ground in his hands. Mate, I'd love to say different, but dead is... The man's eyes fly open and he gasps. He looks towards his companion. Jensen! Then he sees you and recoils in horror. Shoo! Shoo! He drops the man's head in shock. The victim's eyes close once more and his limbs go slack. Oh, all the bloody bats out of bloody hell? Okay, mm -hmm. he is 100% certified dead this time. <laughs> Still playing bit to the gym and back. Yeah, I'm having a good time, Kifu. Uh, what you focus on today? No escape leg day. <laughs> you can also hide the more rally tags in front of moral objects if you prefer. Sometimes I prefer, but not not this way, because I specifically want to know what is it like when you mostly choose Machiavellian options. You should check his vinyls just one last time. I promise. <laughs> I won't ask you again. He glowers at you, and it seems like he's going to refuse. Then he takes a breath and puts his finger to the man's neck, still dead. Once more, with feeling. Not him. He's probably still dead. But you should check again, just in case. <laughs> Mate, show some respect, all right? These people deserve better than be picked over like pieces of meat. You don't know anything about them. They could have been thieves or murderers. What then? His lips pressed together into a thin line. They still deserve respect. Funny how that works, isn't it? She stretches. I'm looking forward to becoming a saint when I die. <laughs> it should be good. <laughs> Maybe it's worth going through his pockets. He shakes his head. You've had your fun. Let him rest. Why stand on ceremony? He's dead. Check all his pockets. He steps between you and the bodies. No means no. Yeah, not this time it doesn't. She pushes past him and briskly gives the corpse a once-over. There we go. Holier than thou? Come on now, bro. <laughs> Finding nothing, she shrugs and goes for the dead man's boost. Waste not, want not. As she pulls him off, a small key slides out into the dust. Hey, jackpot. He looks away in disgust. Must have been important. May as well find out what was so worth protecting. All right, copper key. Beaten to death by the looks of things. And cannot click on that. Oh, wait, there we go. You peer through the torn fuselage. Wrecked seats fade into the dimness, but you can make out the open door to the cockpit and a clear passage through. You can easily hoist yourself up and enter the down plane from here. Enter the plane. You climb up and walk past empty seats. The acrid stench of the engine smoke hangs thick inside the fuselage as you make your way towards the cockpit. 
Inside are two bodies, still strapped to their chairs. The blood pool below them, still dripping from fingertips, reveals how fresh this scene is. But the pilots are still lifeless and cold. Boxes and small containers lie strewn in the aisle. Aside from the pilots up front, the other seats are empty. Search the cockpit. Look over there, says Ella, pointing out the cockpit window. That hut to the southeast. You peer through and see a small, disheveled building, likely an old abandoned cattle station. Worth a closer look, she adds. That's probably how the lockbox ended up outside, though you doubt the impact alone would have popped it open. You take a closer look at the pilots. No breathing, no pulse, only slowly dripping blood, not yet dried. DJ steps closer and kneels next to each in turn, checking their heads, necks, and arms. Cold, he says, probably from the moment this thing came down. La hell, what's going on? How are you? Enjoy your tyranny video? Awesome. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. I really enjoyed that playthrough. Hope you've been doing all right. Legs did some free waist squats and leg presses. Nice. Take care, GM. What's going on, Amari? How are you? What an interesting game so far. The art style gives me some really big Disco Elysium vibes, though. Yep, it does. It does. Nice, Leonard. Got to go to uh, work tomorrow. Yep, take care, Gafu. Have a good one. He glances outside involuntarily, not murdered like those two outside. This place has been ransacked. Ella's voice rings loud in the silence. Whoever did it might still be nearby. We need to search the area. Either they'll have more clues or they'll have seen what happened. Search the boxes. Other than some more serious denting around the corners, their locks have clearly been pried open. Someone's been in here as well. You turn back past the rows of seats and climb out the torn fuselage. If there ever was anything in here, it's gone now. So wait, was there anything over in this area? No? Okay, cool. It's so cool passing by all the, all the wild animals. Who are you? This pudgy, frightened man wears ill-fitting stained clothes. He's been living hard, apparently. He spreads his hands to show there's nothing in them. To his credit, his voice hardly trembles. Good day, mate. Name's Omar, Reuben Omar. I'm a surveyor by trade and a uh, scavenger by circumstance. He swallows hard. Please don't kill me. I'm totally unarmed. What the hell happened here? I was exploring nearby when we heard this god-awful sound. Saw this huge thing plummet and figured, hey, salvage, why not check it out? He's talking fast now, almost panicked. Maybe get some loot I could sell, you know? Maybe maybe get some tucker. Turns out I wasn't the only one to have that idea, though. I stuck away when the Mongols arrived. Wait, the Mongols were here? He nods. I was sussing out the front of that thing when they drove up. They grabbed those two poor people and from inside the plane, took the man, his eyes cut towards the wreckage. He swallows. I just hid. I just had a look inside the plane, but the dust has settled. Is there anything else you saw before we got here? What? You mean besides the bloodthirsty gang beating two innocent people to death, looting a plane, and almost giving me two heart attacks within the same hour? Yeah, besides that, she looks exasperated. Any and all information is helpful. Think details. He looks nervous. Look, I didn't see everything, all right? How could I? Hiding behind this building, trying to not end up like those passengers. He blows air out between pursed lips. But, uh, I did hear something. Right before all the engine revving and them leaving, one of their mob was moaning about how heavy the package was. Look, that's all I know. Don't really want to talk about this anymore. Gonna have nightmares enough already. Where did the Mongols go? He gestures toward the road. They filled their packs and headed off south of here. Probably back to Artis, mate. You said the Mongols filled their packs. With what? He takes a few quick breaths and grits his teeth. Don't know. Whatever they could find, I guess. I wasn't exactly watching them from close up. You mentioned the Mongols. Who are they? Those bastards belong to a woman named Pris. 
calls herself the Empress. <laughs> Humble she's not. Runs Ardaf to the south. Me, I stay away from there, let me tell you. Artists, thugs, and thieves, she nods. Not a bad place for a shag if you enter no strings attached type arrangements. <laughs> she turns slowly to face her sister. Mad grins. Ella pointedly returns her attention to Reuben. <laughs> Bunch of throwbacks living like a pack of dogs. Fucking beast in human clothing. Just look at... He had his clear as throat. Just look at what they did to those poor passengers. Strong insult. Someone who should have been thrown back into the womb. Ha 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 ha. Throwbacks? That's hilarious. How did you get away? His voice falters for the first time at the question. I was out round the front of the plane. Could hear those ardent bastards carrying on like they do. Like they'd struck pay dirt. Four of them, guns out. I didn't stand a chance. They sit in on those two passengers and I... He stops, draws a breath. I crept away, down along the fence to this hut. I'm not a fighter, no weapons. What would you have done? Shat himself, probably. <laughs> she laughs uproariously at her own joke and claps you on the shoulder. Uh, no offense, mate. We've all shat a brick or two at our time. He looks between the two of you and then smiles uncertainly. I guess it's good to hear I'm not alone out there then. We found an empty lockbox out front of the plane crash. You take what was inside. His eyes go wide at the question. Yeah, so, you see, mate, I saw that and... He swallows hard and you notice him clutching his satchel tighter. I mean... Oi! Mag cuts him off sharply. Whatever it is, looks like the end of your story is in that bag. Open it. We already know you took something worth stealing or you would have told us up front what it was. He swallows hard and fishes into his satchel. He pulls out a gold nugget the size of two fists. This... I'm just happy that at least I got away without those mongrels taking this. Where did you find that? It was in one of the boxes out front of the plane. I found it before the mongrels showed up. Reckon I might be able to use it to buy myself a good life back in Meredith. Give up surveying. He looks down at the large nugget in his hand. That'll never happen now unless there's a note of hope in his voice. Give it here. I want to take a look at it. His eyes darken but he hands it over to you without complaint. Hope it brings you better luck than it has me. Bar crew, this is probably worth two or three thousand dollars. That will go a long way to getting us set up wherever Mick ends up taking us. Machiavellian, there's no outcome where you walk away with this nugget, but maybe you can help out at the convoy. Keep the gold. His disappointment is clear. Yeah, figured as much. Then he does a double take. Wait, are you saying I can tag along with you back to Meriden? Yeah, sure. That's Mick's call to make, mate. Hmm. Of course. Let's go see what Mick reckons. Hmm. Really? Well, bugger me. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. Don't make me regret sticking my neck out for you. You won't, I swear. He points at the plane, giddy with relief. This fucking thing, eh? Knew it'd bring me good luck eventually. Well, let's go get this over with. Mad keen to hear what Miss got to say. Don't want to say more until we get that sorted. All right, fine. Ooh, take all that. No one's lived here for quite some time. Shelter's no use when your nearest water source is kilometers away. I, what's going on, Elric? Uh, when we get to the next spot, I'm gonna definitely have to be sure and sell some of this stuff because I guess it's, it marks it as junk. So I should know what I don't need. Let's see what it just had to say. Make sure everyone's okay, will you? How could something like that fall out of the sky? And how did it get up there in the first place? Guess we have to leave her to the scavies now. Shame. Let me know if you find any wounded. We don't have much, but we'll do what we can. All right, small first aid kit. Excellent. Still can't believe we messed up and left uh, Sid behind. I'm still upset about that. If I end up playing this game again, that's definitely something I'm going uh, to be pa passionate about, making sure that that goes right.
looks like there's nothing else here, right? Nothing here. Yep. We good? Oh, no. There's one small part we didn't get to yet. There's no visible handle and your fingers find no purchase around the edges. It doesn't look like anything could pry the bastard open. Excellent. Okay. Yep. And we got those two. So, yeah. Let's go back there. Go back down south. Back to Mick. And let me check my inventory. Is there anything crazy that I want to make sure I pick up? No, you got, you got a regular pistol. I could give you a hunting rifle. This does 5.8. That does 5.7. So, yeah, this would be a little bit better. Let's go with that. And then you've got this knife, four six, four six, attack HP, right. This this three attack, one reload. This is three attack, one reload, so we're good. This is two attack AP. This is three attack HP. Hmm. And he has five HP, so that means he could attack with this twice. Okay, we'll leave you with that then, why not? Much dust in the air. All right. Let's see what Mick has to say. I let you out of my sight for one minute, and you come back with a whole clown car of company? He glares at you. Who are these bludgers, and why are they trailing you like lost puppies? <laughs> she holds up a hand to forestall Mick's tirade. This is DJ. He gave me that supper satori for Bob a while back. He speaks quickly into the silence, and this is Reuben, a bit down on his luck, could use some, some help making it back to the civilization. Civilization, eh? His bitterness takes DJ aback, but he doesn't have time to interject. One beggar at a time, then. You first, kid. Just as vouch for you, so I can see you traveling with us on a temporary basis. He fixes you with his gaze. This is temporary, right? I don't know. He's not shy to touch dead bodies. Could be an asset. He grins at you. If that's all it takes to impress you a lot, my other skills are going to blow your minds. <laughs> he turns his attention to Ruben. And what about you, old mate? You look like you've been through the ringer, though of course that's no concern of ours. What's his name? That guy, etc. Gender neutral. Mm. I'd be doing better if your thugs hadn't robbed me. He doesn't try to disguise his frustration. The least you could do is see me back inside Meriden's walls. Is that true? Did you rob him? He doesn't take his eyes off Reuben as he addresses you. Machiavellian. He found a golden nugget that'll get the convoy to where it needs to be. So yeah, I took it, and I'd take it again. Show me. His eyes widen at the sight of the gold. DJ utters a sound of disgust. Now that's a conversation starter. He holds out his hands expectantly. Give her over and you can follow us wherever you like. Deal? He shakes his head warily. You're not giving me a choice here, are you? Sure, it's a choice. Give us the gold and live, or keep the gold and die. Probably. He stares at you in stony silence, maintaining eye contact as he hefts the nugget into Mick's waiting hands. He gleefully tucks the nugget away. All's well that ends well, eh? Welcome aboard. There's two dead bodies outside the fuselage, recently killed. Just saw Bear Bites answer to my question about the playtime of it. Mm, I don't know why people would skip through a story-driven game, then review it in trash on the game and story. That's the way it works sometimes. That's why I told them don't, uh, don't tie too much into the reviews. You got to look at people who are actually playing the game and uh, playing the game the way that you expected, but you also have to market it in the way that you expected it, right? I didn't pay attention to Broken Rose trailers. But, like, the one I saw, I don't think it really would make it clear. Like, yo, this is a heavy, heavy narrative game, and it's going to be shorter. It's really leaning more towards replayability, all that kind of stuff, right? You want to make sure it's clear in your marketing so that people who put money down on it know what they're getting. I don't know if that happened. 
I don't know if that happened. Couldn't tell you. Did they look like they were in that thing when it came down? They were. Saw him dragged off with my own eyes. He swallows heavily. Don't think I'll ever forget it. One of them had a key in his boot. She looks at Mad, who nods ever so slightly. Haven't found the lock it fits yet, though. Reuben said the Ardath crew took something very heavy from the plane. Interesting. Any chance he's bullshitting? Doubt it. Guy looks scared out of his wits. Happy to just be alive and that we didn't shoot him. Yeah, I reckon he was in shock. Poor fellas telling the truth. Reuben said the Ardath Mongols were the ones who killed the passengers outside the plane. Ardath, eh? Fuck. Not surprised they beat us here. No doubt took whatever they could find, too. Yeah, sounds like they made off with what our scavenger friend was hoping would be his. We searched the inside of the plane. Two dead pilots, some ransacked boxes and containers. The thing has been thoroughly picked over. A shame, but to be expected. Lucky we struck it rich on that gold nugget you acquired then, eh? He winks at Reuben, who returns his joviality stone face. Ha ha ha! That's all I've found so far. All right, let's see then. He counts the points off on his fingers as he goes. We've got a glittering gold nugget, and we know whoever was here took something heavy. He strokes his beard. It's a start. Could be more to find. What do you reckon? I was pretty thorough. I don't think there's anything left to find. If you say so, he looks over at the crash, his eyes roving the scene. Man, the art style is awesome. Yeah, I'm enjoying the art. What's going on, uh, Connor? Reviews are mostly negative on Steam. Really? Okay, I'm going to have to look through them. I might do one of those one-star review kind of things for this game once I'm finished with it. I hear they Wrath of the Righteous holds against Pillars 1 and 2. Um, I like Wrath of the Righteous more. I think it has a much stronger narrative. Pillars of Eternity has a really strong narrative and strong party members, but uh, the mechanics, they're just cool to me. Uh, it doesn't reach that upper echelon. Deadfire has upper echelon mechanics, fantastic exploration, and the art and production values are fantastic, but the party members to me are middling, and the uh, main narrative is lacking. Whereas Wrath of the Righteous is just great all the way around. Makes me sad seeing this game getting so many negative reviews. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But again, negative reviews, it's not like a death knell. You know, you've got to, you can absolutely fight through it. And Alcat and other developers have shown that that's the case. The art is beautiful. Interior and exteriors are superb. Love how the artists managed to convey how life still persists in the hopeless wasteland. Yep, I think they did a great job of that. All right, he sighs. Everyone ready? Our truck's ready to go. She looks at her sister who nods. Okay, now, as for our new friend, he turns his face to Reuben. Come up front with me. I've got a lot of questions for you. Right you are, mate. Let's move out. DJ left. Ah, uh, travel to Meriden. Okay, I'm glad I didn't give him anything. Since the state must necessarily provide subsistence for the criminal poor while undergoing punishment, not do the same for the poor of not offenders to give a premium on crime. Hmm. She's been at the gates for a few minutes now. It's impossible to hear what they're saying from this distance, but finally her calm composure cracks and she yells at her impassive opponent. I'm not leaving my people out here to bake in the sun. He says something, gestures at the gates, then heads inside the town with a short, guilty glance at the convoy. The woman just is arguing with wears a white jacket with nary a stain or crease. She shields her golden eyes from the sun and pitches her voice to carry to you and anyone else who may have heard Jess's outburst. As I said, Meriden has had an influx of people seeking aid. You of all people know how much it costs to house a population, let alone feed them. She spots you and Mick approaching and raises a hand to forestall Jess's response. Mrs. Brown, your friends appear to have missed the line over there for the other siders. I suggest you all get back in that line before I ask my guards to put you there. We have information. We'll trade it for entry. Unless you know how to make it rain, I doubt you have anything that would interest me. Governor Smith, this is all that's left of Bookton. Our town was raided and its inhabitants scattered three nights ago. Jess tells me you're harsh, but fair. As mayor of Brookton, 
officially request your aid in retaking and rebuilding our community starting today. Mm. People never get somewhere by letting negative stuff take over their first product. If that was the case, gaming wouldn't be as popular. Exactly, exactly. And it, people like us will give it a fair shake. The man at the head of the queue pipes up. Who cares? Westonia is under threat from forces with 10 times as much firepower as us, and I've sat in this line for two days on the off chance Governor Smith would deem to speak to me. Wait your turn like everyone else. Barter crew. Wait, what's going on with Westonia? She regards him coolly. Dean to speak to you, is it? Far be it for me to rupture such self-serving delusions by actually having a conversation with you. Governor, he recaptures her attention. We haven't come empty-handed. We've got specialists in our convoy. Farmers, medics, a mechanic. You know Mad and Ella, scouts from Bally Bally Hall. An old mate here. He gives you a critical look. He gestures to you. Go on, introduce yourself. I'm fourth generation barter crew. I can sell anything to anyone. She clears her throat. Having another set of keen eyes on prices and trade goods would be helpful. All you need to know is we didn't come empty handed, like Mick said. She briefly scans the rest of your convoy, her expression unreadable. I must say, Mick, you do have quite the group here. I can see why Jess was so adamant I let you in. She taps a finger on the chin. I love to help you, but there are plenty of others in this line with similar skills. What it comes down to is whether or not you can support yourselves without relying on handouts. If you could guarantee that you won't be a burden on our already strained economy, we could let you in. On a provisional basis, of course. Her lips compressed into a thin line, she turns and calls to the convoy. Anyone who grabbed more than the bare essentials, bring it here. The governor wants proof we can pay our own way. Barter crew, what we have isn't important. Tell me what you want, and I can get it. We've lost a few of our barter crew recently. If you and Jess can fill those gaps, you'd be a welcome addition. I'm going to hold you to that promise, Brookton. Her tone is mild, but the thrill of a challenge has awakened in her eyes. She looks at the never-ending line of people, then back at you. I'm satisfied what you've shown me today, Nick. Meriden is open to your people. You and I will speak of your request for aid later. Understood. Hmm. My favorite part of the origin system. It's bloody fantastic. Mm-hmm. He snaps out of his reverie. Of course. Thank you. He heads inside without another word, and the rest of you trail in his wake. Enter Meriden. When men speak ill of thee, live so as nobody may believe them. So let's see. That's DJ. That's Jess. He walks towards you slowly. His head droops and his once immaculately pressed jacket now disheveled. He exhales, then looks up at you. He gestures to the makeshift camp. As much as I'd like to take the credit for all this, I feel like I dropped the ball. You and Jess did good work out there. Thanks for offering to be a dog's body for the governor. Free labor's like catnip for leaders. I never turned it down myself. <laughs> he chuckles. He sighs and looks around. Here's the deal. I'm going to try to talk to Governor Smith into helping us retake Brookton. You're welcome to get the lay of the land first, but if you could meet me at Smith House sooner rather than later, I'd appreciate the backup. I'm going to take a look around then. I'll see if I can catch the governor before she gets bogged down in affairs of state. She's got a lot going on right now, but Brookton is a priority. It has to be. He says his last part almost to himself, though the conviction in his voice doesn't make it through the worry on his face. Be canny with your trades, eh? We haven't got much, so I'll have to make it last. Hmm. Her, hush up now, DJ, or your friends will know that you doubted them. This old man speaks with a twinkle in his eye, leaning on his cane to apprise you from a comfortable distance. You've made it, he stares at you. I was sure Angela was going to keep you in that line out of spite. I use my charm on her. I picked Engineer, by the way, and I see some gameplay and AI hacking looks broken. Being able to essentially get another body on top of the battlefield is never bad. And combat drone, and that thing's a nuke if built right. Yep, you summon it, blows up massive very effect damage. Absolutely, that's the point. Glance that DJ. Somehow, I doubt that. <laughs> he does the breath of his hat. I'll see you in quarter then. Angela's obviously not going to give me the time of day. Stop by any time, even if you don't manage to find it. Yes, Kong. 
The old man gives you one last look, then shuffles away. Find what? Conk asked me to find a treasure he lost in Meredith. He said it's not worth anything to anyone but him, even if it looks a bit swanky. He holds up a hand. One half of the treasure is a black rectangle about the size of my palm, and the other is a white plastic rope that slides it to the end. Let's see if we can hunt it down. You gonna stand over with them? Okay. Excellent. So we're in a new city, uh, a new city now. I think this is a good place to go ahead and stop the stream. I do have to work in the morning, but I'm hoping all of you had a good time, that you enjoyed the stream, that you enjoyed this look at the game. I definitely had a good time, and I'm looking forward to continue to play this. Uh, my intention is to uh, continue with the stream until we finish the game, and then we'll head right back into Tyranny and finish that. So hopefully that sounds good to all of you. I've really enjoyed this time. I appreciate everybody who was able to make time and stop by, and I'll see you all in the next stream. Take care. And a century turn in Mass Effect 3 looks awesome. Yep, yep. Engineer is a really fun time in Mass Effect 3 as well. You're good either way. Sad voice, then out of nowhere, no voice. Yeah, it's annoying. It gives me Pillars of Eternity 1 vibes, but it's their first game. It's, it's to be expected. Have a good night, Romilia. Take care. Bye, James. Glad the two of you were able to join the stream. Thanks, Elric. Glad you had a good time, Duke. You all have a good night.